Okay, we got it, finally. It took long enough, didn't it? Jesus. <laughs> I don't know what it is now. I don't know, I think it's WoW's fault. I think everyone's playing WoW like 24 seven. So it's making sure I don't get quality options all the time. It's really fucking annoying. How's it going guys? Hope you're doing well today. I just need to uh, let me catch up with this quickly. What's happened, Hermione? I'm waiting for package and there's delivery uh, car outside. Oh God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but it did ring, I guess my package will not be here today, though I hope so because today I'd be here to take it in tomorrow and on Monday, almost like I'm at home. Oh, I hate that, it's the worst, isn't it? I've just had that um, with my, my sister's just had a chair delivered here and I it was meant to be between two and five, so I thought, oh shit, I'm gonna have to like stop the stream to get this thing in, but luckily it was, early. It was like half one. Uh, emotes are normal again. I don't know. don't know why. Abdi, thanks for the host, man. Very kind. How's it going? Hello, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, Rocky. No worries, dude. Um, Andrew. Mr. Mr. Pandwu slash Andrew. Look what Thomas got in the post yesterday. <laughs> I had to get it while it was still like available. Oh, it was your package, sweet. Oh, I haven't opened it yet. Or oh, as you can see, I don't. I don't plan on playing it yet. I've got. Uh, there's too much stuff coming out. I've just had uh, confirmation that Dead Cells has just been sent out as well. So. I'm probably going to play that a chunk of next week. The Horde emblem? Don't you mean the Alliance emblem? <laughs> uh, postcard was at the other house first. That is where the car stood there for so long. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. I like both the Horde and the Alliance. They're both cool. No one's a bad guy. Um... Oh shit, are we losing... Am I dropping frames here? Oh great, it looks like my internet's fucking up. Hang on. No, it might be alright. Fuck's sake. Why is it like everything goes wrong at the same time? It's bullshit. I'm actually levelling an ally, I feel dirty, but... Oh come on dude, shut up. The, other... <laughs> the argument's as bad as like... Android and Apple phones, isn't it? They're both valid, they're both valid choices. Just pick whatever you want. Pick your preference. Um, today we've got, uh, we've got Sonic t-shirt, by the way. Got Sonic t-shirt and uh, I've still got my, still got my Sonic socks on, dirty Sonic socks. Because I just had to uh, walk outside to grab that chair off the back of the uh, lorry. Don't judge me for wearing socks two days in a row. <clears throat> My feet don't smell or sweat that much. <laughs> oh dear, good start. Right now, this is um, this is going to be interesting because um, this is the first PC game I've ever streamed, and it's it's definitely not a graphically intensive one. I can tell you that for sure. But it's going to be interesting to see how well this is going to run because um, I actually haven't tested this out on stream yet which I'm a little bit worried about, but we'll see how it goes. The main thing is I don't know how loud everything's going to be, but um, 
every, every game's a different loudness, isn't it? I'll, I might just have to just fiddle around with it while uh, the sound that is while um, <laughs> while we're live. I was outside just six minutes ago, and a whole family of ten was playing Pokemon Go and were at a raid battle. It's still cool that people were playing that. I think it's. Um, I, I played it a little bit a couple of weeks ago, and it was still quite fun. It just it just absolutely destroys the battery on my phone. It's the only problem. It's still quite a fun game. I haven't put any money into it. I refuse to put money into it. Uh... Wait, what? You don't seem to be playing it, at least you didn't open the gift I sent you. What? Oh, on Pokemon Go, okay. Oh, yeah, okay, on Pokemon Go. Yeah, I, I played it that one day, pretty much, and that was it. <laughs> oh, you can send gifts to your friends, okay. Yeah, you did, yeah, we did say that, didn't we? Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I think I, my battery ran out pretty quickly that day, and I haven't been back to it since. Because um, can you believe it? The weather hasn't been as nice. Although it's been quite nice today, now. <laughs> Herman? Uh oh. <laughs> Herman. Right, um. Oh, and the message before I refer to my package because I ordered five shirts, jackets, and total if I keep all is. 245 euros. <sighs> oh, fucking hell. I hate spending money on clothes, it's the worst. I'd rather they just, like, it gets to the point where they fall apart and I have to replace them. Okay. Um, yes. So, guys, bear with me because this might uh, uh, this might go badly to begin with. Just um, let me know how um, how everything looks. Ooh. Let's see. There we go. So, I think we're going to have English. I think that's probably a good idea. I don't know how loud this is going to be, so uh, apologies if it's like super duper loud. Oh god, what's happening there? Hang on. Oh god, no! Oh. It's bad! Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's, that's not working at all. Am I going to have to play this windowed? I think I am. Quite loud. That is really loud, isn't it? Tell me if is that better? I put it at fifty percent. Damn, this might mean I have to play in a small windowed mode. Sorry, sorry guys. Is is that better? <laughs> when uh when I went full screen there, by the way, did it um? God, that is still loud, isn't it? Can I not turn this down anymore? That seems a bit better. I don't know. Is it? Is it the same loudness? I can't tell. I've knocked this down 40%. And it still sounds really loud. <clears throat> uh, also, yeah, when I went full screen, did it cover like the entire screen? I didn't actually see. Sounds good. Right, let's let's have a look at the. This is the intro. So, Glitch City, a city that shouldn't exist, a tax haven where corporations and criminal empires reign supreme. 
In this place, all human life has been infected with nanomachines to keep them in check. Over them stand the white knights who ensure that... No. Oh. Okay. Fucking hell! Seriously? <laughs> Give me a bit of time. Here, brutality in all its forms is an everyday reality. The quality of life from all non-powerful decreases at an alarming rate. Uh, for many, this can be overwhelming. Some devote themselves to their jobs, their families, or even their studies. Some look for ways to escape this place, and others just give up. But for many of them, the answer lies at the bottom of a glass. On a small road just seconds away from the main street, somewhere near the slums, you can find the Hall A of the BTC certified bar code lane VA11. That's a mouthful, so we just call it Valhalla. A small oasis in the middle of the concrete desert, a fountain of spirits waiting for tired souls. And it's here where this story unfolds. Yes, yeah, so that's the, the general... Wait, what? Why does it say, like, say the Ballad of a Gay Ghost at the top? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, do you recognise this music? <laughs> also, should we have uh, scan lines or not? I think we should probably have scan lines. I like the old school sort of look of it. Um, <coughs> okay, guys, I'm going to see how... Um, actually, how am I going to do this? I I'm going to put this full screen for a second. Can you tell me if it, um, if it like, absolutely fucks up the, um, the stream? Just for a sec. I'm going to try looking on my screen as well. I don't think I've got this working for full screen, you know. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to play Windowed then. Uh, unfortunately, I'm playing on a 4K screen, so everything is tiny. It's not good, is it? Um, shit, I don't know really how to do this. I, what I might have to do, because yeah, this is really a really small window. I can't show you how small. And if I move, can I extend the window? Is that not possible? Is that really not possible? Fuck, you only get like two sizes, either full screen or 720. Um. Hang on, let me move forward a bit. Maybe I'll just do that. Just move forward, that sorts the problem out, doesn't it? This is very weird, not having to switch back and forth. I'm going to keep an ear out for the music, because I'm not sure how uh, how it's going to look. Uh, how it's going to sound, rather. It's going to be too loud or not. Oh yeah, the thing at the top keeps changing, so goodbye Miss Bartender, it says now. Anyway, either way, let's see what this is all about. Uh, thank you for playing Valhalla. This game is best played getting comfortable. Grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. So sit back and relax. We hope you have a good time. I hope I do too. <clears throat> I've got an error code. Great. Ah! <laughs> The game has just crashed. <laughs> Why am I playing a PC game again? Fucking hell. I probably should have tested this beforehand, shouldn't I? Wait, what's crashed? I don't understand what's crashed. Because now that it's not... Oh, there it is. Okay. I was going to say. <sighs> Today could be a long day. Or, well, it could be a short day. What a good start, eh? Let's try that again. I think it might be an OBS crash, actually. It's 
See if it does it again. Yep, it's done it again. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I'm really, really unsure what to do now. Fucking hell. Um, I'm going to be doing something a bit drastic here. Let's uninstall and reinstall it. gonna be one of those days isn't it plus this is using up all my bandwidth so you're probably seeing a slideshow right now bear with it it's not gonna be too long oh god yeah just sit back and enjoy the music <laughs> yeah you get we're gonna get dropped frames for a minute you're gonna get dropped frames just while this installs again my internet is not powerful enough to do both apparently What a fucking nightmare. That or I'm going to have to work out how to do this full screen. Why, why can it not just work? Is that too much to ask? Okay, let's see if this works again. Um, am I doing a game capture or window? That's a good question, actually, dude. Let me have a look. I'm doing... Uh, I'm, cap I'm doing a window capture. Is that wrong? So you might, might have to change this on the fly if that's the case. Let me just see if it works this time. We'll go from there. Ah, oh, there you go. I don't know, I don't know. I don't understand. Why? <clears throat> okay, um, this game's got another... It's, it's another reading one, so you're going to have to put up with my um, my horrible voice acting. Slap, well, non-existent voice acting, because I'm not even voice acting. Why is this game so fucking loud? I can turn this basically down to like zero and it's still too loud. I think that's alright. I mean the game's got really good music but holy shit is it loud. Okay, right. I think I'm ready. Right, so... Psst. Hey, over here. Boo! How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe, look sharp. The game's starting and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad uh, tuxedo corgis over the weekend and the bar will eventually close. What? <laughs> and I'll admit my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the bright side of things. I have no idea what the bright side is, but you should totally find it. In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. See ya! Did it crash again? No. Oh. Ugh, oh, just a dream. Hmm? There's something near the door. Chapter 1, Primera. I have no idea what this game... How this game plays, by the way, at all. So this is going to be really interesting. Or, like, tragically uh, terrible. Uh, <laughs> wait, what's that called? Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. You can now browse the augmented eye. Wait, so we have to make $800. 
Is that our sort of goal in the game? Oh man, this this I can just sit here and chill out to the music. Uh, so who is that let from? Nobody. Wait, who's four? Uh, every black scene is going to have me suspect it's crashed. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about, Wu. <laughs> I'm really, really worried. It's, um... I mean, it's not a CPU issue. My CPU is running at, like, 38% at the moment. So... And I'm running the stream off the CPU as well, so... It's basically using no no power, really. I really... Ah, oh, it's really annoying. I really want to get it full screen, but it's not going to happen, is it? Settings, just normal settings, right? Yeah. What's this about? Hold to unlock. Or do I have to hold... There we go. What's this about? AE. Augmented eye. Uh, mass emigration continues as... Oh wow, I've actually got like story here. This is much... You know what? This is actually much easier to read on the um, OBS screen. Let me... How am I going to do this? Hang on. Let me just uh, get that out of the way. Honestly, the, the the OBS screen is way way bigger than the uh, the game screen is currently. Yeah, this is way better <clears throat> for now, at least. Um, right, mass immigration continues as Quincy reveals new economic adjustments. With inflation rates among the highest in the world, constant shortage of basic groceries and rampant violent crime, uh, glitch city citizens look for a better life in other countries. Quincy, however, isn't happy with this. They learn in our schools and universities, the Prime Minister said during a talk with the augmented eye, that they apply what they learn somewhere else and I find it rather insulting. This comes after revealing new economic measures for the city, which most analysts consider to be useless for the current environment. They don't know shit, concluded Quincy. Uh, wonder leaders are the newest threat to your security. If you thought Alice Rabbit was good at cracking the most complicated security protocols in the world, then this new group will certainly blow your mind. They've yet to make an impact as big as Alice Rabbit, but they seem to be aiming very high with the recent threats issued against Prime Minister Quincy. We hold full access to Quincy's email network and will release the whole database this January, the group declared during a stream shallow threats. When questioned, Prime Minister Quincy dismissed all of the group's threats by stating he's not hiding anything and is not afraid of a possible leak of his email history. Maybe everyone will get to see what kind of TV I brought last month. Wild parties. So it doesn't seem like people like this uh, Prime Minister Quincy, do they? The people behind the Wonderlanders seem to enjoy dressing in all kinds of rabbit costumes. Costumes? Or costumes, is that... It says costumes during the stream. From the anthro to bunny girl, the purpose was to show the love and respect they have for Alice Rabbit and their role in today's politics. We want to follow their example, having some fun. We're not sure if this will go anywhere, but we'll be there to tell you if it does. Cyborg in Heels returns next year. Uh, Cyborg in Heels returns next year to Super Silver Thunderdome. The popular show Cyborg and Heels returns to the dome this March, with tickets going on sale in January. Cyborg and Heels is a massive stage show about a cyborg fighting terrorism while wearing heels. Director Quentin Hater uh, explains Cyborg and Heels' special appeal during, a, uh, during an exclusive interview with the Augmented Eye. What's not to love about it? It's a cyborg wearing heels, cutting stuff. That's literally something we've never seen before, a niche market I'm willing to capitalise on. Check out the full interview in the next few weeks, exclusively here at Augmented Eye. Okay, so we're getting some world building here. We're getting some world building. It's, uh... <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm sort of taken aback by the music at the moment. I'm loving the music. Oh, wow, well, can we just play the... We can literally just play the, um... The whole soundtrack. Right, so that's saving the game. Uh, add app. Ah, oh, must get that later on, maybe. Right, okay. Um, oh, God, this... Yeah, this is... Uh, I haven't got this exactly right. Let me just uh, shrink this a little bit. 
That's better. Now I can see the whole thing. Right, let's go to work. Tuesday, December 13th. Good evening. Oh, hang on, let's... Uh... Ah, hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. When will you admit you have a John face, Gil? Uh, when you let people call you Jules? Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's boss? Dunno. She went out to buy some stuff and... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something? Yes. That you look distracted. Very, very distracted. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about... stuff. What stuff? Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful and... Ah. Uh, there's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of closing. So, not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering 4 left me with a completely empty wallet and I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. And there are all the beer cans around my apartment and... Jill! Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can! Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. If you, can make, uh, if you can make a piano man, I'll skip the rest, but bear with me for a second here, okay? Let's start with the sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book that will show up on the top left. Right, okay, so this is a bartending game. So we are going to have to mix uh, some drinks for the customers. Uh, you can also sort drinks by flavours like sweet or types like manly. Uh, drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right to the shaker in the centre. Gill. When done, press the mix button and then press it again to stop mixing. Click the serve button or the drink itself to serve it and that's that'll be all. Oh, but if the drink looks messed up, you'll need to press the reset button and try again. You can press reset any time, even while the shaker is moving. Don't be afraid to use it. Uh, can I drink myself as well? Yeah, why not? Is it Mem Memphi Games? Sorry, I'm trying to read this now. It doesn't show up too well on my uh, on my OBS. Welcome to the stream, by the way. You can drink yourself. I should really make this a drinking stream, shouldn't I? But uh, I'm planning to um, I'm planning to drink later, so I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to destroy myself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Memphi, welcome, welcome to the stream. Pleasure to have you. First time. Uh... I, I, I was hosting the channel. Okay. Wait, thanks when you were hosting the channel. I opened. Oh, was it? Uh, it wasn't Ollie, was it? Or someone is someone hosting me? Uh, God, this looks like. Um... Okay, hopefully this isn't too complicated. Is the, is the music okay, by the way? Is it too loud, or are we okay? Uh, Gil, I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instruction. Then this should be no problem. Hey! <laughs> Woo, thanks for, the, uh, thanks for the bits, dude. Very kind. I think, you, you know you don't have to put them all in, like, ones, right? No clue, to be honest. I'm not that familiar with Twitch. Not too loud. Okay, cool. Um, how how sick is this music, though? It's so good. I literally just got back from shopping. Got four crates with 24 beer. Wait, so you, wait, hang on. Wait, so you got 96 beers? Memphi, do me a, do me a favour. Please don't, like... You know, don't drink 98, 96 beers and then, like, die. I don't think I need... I don't want that on my conscience. <laughs> God, can you imagine? Uh, by the way, uh, Gillian, this character in front of us here, I would imagine is named after Gillian from uh, Snatcher, I think. Gillian Seed, I think his name was. I don't know what Jill... Jill might be named after... 
well, if we're going for video game characters, it could be Jill from Resident Evil, couldn't it? <sighs> Gil wants either a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up the ingredients of the or the drink, I can press the reset button and try again. Uh, Memphi, thanks for following, dude. Very kind. Very, very kind. I oh, forget that I can actually see the little Sonic pop up now. I haven't had this before. Okay, right, so by name. So we've got to search for a... Let's search for a Sugar Rush, shall we? Uh, sugar Rush is two Adelhyde and one Powder Delta with optional car Carmatrine, all mixed. Sweet, light and fruity, as girly as it gets. Sweet, girly, happy. Just like me. Right, so two, uh, two of these. Uh, one powder delta, and then an optional karma tree. Okay, then how long do we have to wait? Fail. <laughs> okay, hang on then. Let's try this again. Yeah, how long do we have to keep um, mixing it for? Until it's... So now? Right, there you go. Done. Here. Happy now? Okay, that's fairly easy. A little, but not quite. Let's do one more. <sighs> I know, I know. Please humour me for a bit. Some drinks need to be blended. <laughs> Sugar rush! Thank you, Woo. Very kind of you, dude. Very, very kind. I'm just going to turn this down a tiny bit because it's peaking quite high. That, that should be a bit better, I think. I do I do appreciate the bits, uh, Woo. I really do. Uh, by the way, guys, I hope you um, I hope you enjoy that this is... Uh, sorry, I hope you appreciate this is quite a different game to Persona 5. Uh, I'm hoping you'll uh, enjoy it. It's apparently not too long. Um, Memphi? What the hell? That's really kind of you. Like, seriously, this is... You've been here for, like, what? Half an hour, if that, and you're already subscribing. You are a legend. You're a very good person, and I appreciate it muchly. Uh, this is a this is a sugar rush, by the way. I made myself earlier. Honestly, I, I really um, I I really appreciate subscri uh, subscriptions because um. They don't happen very often. I'm still still a relatively new channel, so it's always um, it's always a bit of a surprise when someone decides to subscribe to me. I really, really appreciate that, dude. Honestly. Right. Um, some drinks need to be blended. This is done by mixing it for over five seconds. You can tell it's being blended when the shaker starts moving faster. Okay, so that's a blend. Uh, you also need to check if the drink should be served on the rocks or aged. Check ice and age buttons on the side to select the one you need. In the case it wasn't obvious, on the rocks means you have to toggle the ice tab. It should be noted that the station will add the ice after mixing. It's not something you should mind though, uh, just a fun fact. Give me a moon blast and I'll leave you alone. Keep in mind what I said. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, apparently, uh, Jill is the character in my Be Right Back screen, I think. Uh, and it just happened to be that I used um, Valhalla Music for the same thing. Uh, it's no problem, man. You're stuck with me drinking anyways. <laughs> That's fine, Memphi. I'm fine with that. Uh, I, you know what? I'm actually uh, potentially going to get a part-time bartender job at some point. So um, this game might actually be... Um, might be quite useful for me in the future. Uh, let's give Gil a moon blast. Blended drinks need to be left to mix for at least five seconds before I stop the shaker. Okay, that's a moon blast. Moon blast is six uh, Adelhide, one powder delta, one flanagide, and two carmatrine, all on the rocks and blended. No relation to the hadron cannon you can see on the moon for one week every month. Wait, that's sweet, girly, and happy as well. 
Bartender's is pretty great, man. Uh, I've done that myself for four years, still doing it at night. It's, yeah, it seems to me like it'd be quite a fun job to do. I don't know. I, I don't know how well I would deal with drunks. <laughs> Depends on the drunk, I suppose, isn't it? I don't want to have to, like, break up any fights, ideally. Yeah, we, we're going to have to get... There's got to be a shake and not stirred um, joke in here at some point, isn't there? Surely. Right, so six uh, adult hides. Uh, wants to be uh, on the rocks. Uh, one powder delta, one flanner guide, and two karma tree. Well, this is a fucking drink, isn't it? So we've got to wait until it speeds up. There you go. <clears throat> Here, did I amuse you for long enough? You did. Sorry to hold you. Uh, let's get working. Yeah. Oh yeah, before I forget. Hmm? You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional carmatrine, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Oh, okay. Optional carmatrine doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Carmatrine is the alcoholic factor in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. <laughs> this sounds fun. Oh yeah, how, how many times have you had to hear that? Not that often, but I've heard it over 200 times for sure. To newcomers and such. Dealing with some drunks is a pain, but you, you got guards for that. It's more like... Um, if they start, because I, I used to work in a video game shop, and I used to get um, I used to get chatting to people for a bit too long. And what would usually happen is I kind of got a bit of a reputation for it, and um, people would just start coming in to talk about their like their whole life to me. And then I'm I'm just standing there like, mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm I really need to work here. I'm getting in trouble. I really need to work. <laughs> I didn't mind, but I, I could like feel my manager's eyes like piercing through the back of my head. Okay, I'm really disappointed. Actually, I, I didn't like any of the clothes of mine. Oh shit, that sucks. But yeah, you know when it's... I, I feel like I would get stuck. I've got to try and not get stuck into chatting to people. Although I feel like uh, with drunks it's less of a problem because they're... Um, I don't know about other drunk people, but when I'm drunk, my attention span can be fairly short. <laughs> so if someone stopped talking to me, I probably wouldn't wouldn't mind. He gave up on me after two years. He couldn't stop him from talking. Yeah, it's true. I I, I, I was there for ten and a half years, dude, and I, I was getting in trouble with every new manager. <laughs> Eventually, they're just like, ah, whatever. As long as you limit it to a little bit. Right. Uh, are you done with the exposition? Now I am, yeah. Hey, guys. Oh, but... Hey? Eh? <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. I found her while I was out shopping. Why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest or bring her unconscious body in here. She's going to make such a ruckus when she wakes up, you know that. That's up, uh, that's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. You can't just push that responsibility onto us. We have work to do, damn it. There are two of you. Believe in yourselves. <sighs> do you think Chief knocked her out? Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be crying about it or taunting us if that were the case. And it's not like her to pick on such a small girl. At least not unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. We'll just need to keep it quiet. She, she, uh, she seems to be just sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay then, time to start the night. Yes, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Um, come again? Well, you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what. 
We've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs. Lots of them. You're joking. Gil, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Well... So, as punishment for leaving me to deal with all of that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun. Just that? Fine. I see no problem. Uh, where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. Okay, let me just catch up with chat for a second. I just saw uh, Hermione posted a, uh, an essay. Oh, we, your cat just died. We, I'm sorry, dude. That sucks. Are you, are, you, are you being serious? That really sucks, dude. Sorry, I, I'm trying to catch up here. I'll, I'll, I'll catch up in a minute. Uh, I'm really sad because I have one shirt from that brand. I really love it. I really love the style. So I ordered some more autumn and winter appropriate stuff from them. The brand will not much... Uh, it won't last much longer. But they don't fit, I can imagine, at all. And are completely different than the one I have. Maybe I need to order some more with uh, similar cuts to the one I have. Also, sorry for the package opening spam. <laughs> that does suck. Bartender sounds like a really cool job. I just don't think I could handle drunk people that long. Yeah, I, that's, that's the only thing I'm a little bit unsure about. I feel like I might get, um, if you'll excuse the pun, a little bit short with them. I'm short, just in case you're new to the stream. Had that happen a couple of times, depends what kind of drunk you get. Yeah, I mean, you know, you get there's loads of different drunks, aren't there? Sleepy drunk, happy drunk, loud drunk, obnoxious drunk, violent drunk. Oh, okay. It, no, it's part of the joke of you talking to people about their uh, lives at GameStop. Woo, um, you joke about um, someone saying their cat died. Uh, I've had that happen before. I've had someone say... Um, I've had someone come up to me and say uh, they've just had a divorce. And I knew both of the customers. And um, she was devastated, obviously. But oh my god. It's like, what the fuck do I say to this? What, I, what do I do? Seriously. But yeah, I've had someone say like their, their cat died and uh, I think dog died as well, you know, all sorts. Probably heard every pet under the sun over the years. And yeah, it's like, what the fuck, what do I say? I, I honestly don't know how to react to this. I really don't. Yeah. Woo, I honestly, uh, retail is, um, retail can get very interesting at points. Let me tell you that. Okay, I actually kind of like one of the jackets, but it's quite lightly coloured. It's not something I wear that often, but I like it. Maybe go for something for a change, Hermione, you know? A bit of a change isn't uh, necessarily a bad thing, is it? What do I say to a divorce? Exactly, especially considering I know both the people. I mean, they were like uh, in their 60s, I'd say, 50s or 60s. But, yeah, very odd. Got, I've got some, like... You know, talking about all this stuff is like digging up some old stories for me. <laughs> Got to get some... Uh, I, I don't remember a lot of the stories I had at game over the years, but there's uh, there's probably quite a lot we could share. That gets awkward real fast when you give the wrong answer. I, Memphi, to be honest, at that with that kind of talk, I generally just um, nod and go along with it and kind of try and be as... Uh, sympathetic as I possibly can. Uh, this model needs to have all uh, all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. I wonder what was the logic behind that decision. Jukebox 3. Add songs by clicking titles on the left. You can remove them by cl right clicking their title or swap two songs by clicking on both. Oh, interesting. Right, so what we got? That's the that's the start, isn't it? So we've got 12 pages of music. Oh, we haven't unlocked all of it yet, though. Uh, I don't like that one as much. That's quite nice. 
I mean, it didn't didn't really lose them as a customer, Memphi, because the the half that got divorced, oh, sorry, the half that didn't like it, was the half that didn't buy games in the first place. Whereas the other half, the one that did the divorcing, uh, came back in fairly regularly. I like that one. We'll have that. Thing is, like, I've. I, I cheated a little bit because I've heard some of this um, soundtrack before and a lot of it is amazing. See that? Even that sounds quite relaxing, doesn't it? Oh yeah, I like that one. I like that one. I'm going to send my boyfriend a selfie and ask him for his opinion. Hermione, oh that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> As a man, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm shit at that kind of, uh, that kind of stuff. That was pretty cool. Showtime. I'm probably spending way too long on this, but... The Divorcer and the Divorcee, yes. I remember getting into a 50-50 scenario with a group of uh, customers. Or are you trying to break them up, almost? Underground Club. That sounds pretty cool. Not feeling that one. Just the beginning, anyway. Yeah, that's alright. There was a big argument with uh, way too many drunk lads. It was like three weeks ago. Oh, God. So, yeah, especially if it's like a big group of people, you definitely want to like try and be as neutral as you possibly can, don't you? I want the more cyberpunky sounding stuff. Yeah, that sounds good. Hot. Dusk? Dusk should be good, surely. Yep. Yep, straight away. Digging it. Skyline? No. I'm going to go off of like the first five seconds, because otherwise we'll be here all day. Yep. God, we're, we're not even like... I've already got half the list and we've still got like eight pages left. Uh, good thing that week they weren't as edged like they would be if there wasn't any feasts nearby. <laughs> Gotta get that kebab. Digital drive? Nah, not feeling that kind of music. Oh my god, yes. I'm in. Yep. Love it. We need relaxing. Yep. <laughs> uh, that one's pretty good, but I feel like we should look through some of the other pages. Oh man, that's really good as well, though. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> Snowfall's got to be a good one, right? Yep. He's not too bad at opinion on stuff, at least better than me. Okay. I, I'm useless with that kind of thing. I feel like it's a trick question, Hermione. Nighttime maneuvers, eh? I wonder what that could mean. That's quite good, but... I kind of wish it would just do the whole playlist randomly. That's quite a good one, might come back to that. As is that one. Nope. If you mean the stereotypical do I look fat in this, I have no idea what that, who actually does that. Uh, I'm sure I've probably come across one or two people that do that. These sound quite sad, these ones. Yep. 
Yeah, digging that one. Umimoto. Oh, this sounds good. I like it. Hang on. This, oh, God. I probably shouldn't look at the others, should I? Oh, that's really good as well. Hang on. No, you know what? Fuck it. We'll just go, because otherwise we'll be here all day. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, today is a shorter stream. Um, I'm going to be done at 6. I need to be, like, done at 6. So I'm going to go out and meet uh, some friends tonight. Um, please don't hate me. After that eight hour, well, it was eight and a half hours, that stream last night, just over. Uh, kind of need a bit of a shorter stream today. <laughs> Hashtag hate hours, is that what you used to call them, Memphi, when those guys came in? Uh, time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey you, get me a beer. Oh, sure, right on it. He wants a beer. He looks like quite the big guy, though. Okay. Um, if I type... Manly drinks. A pile driver. <laughs> Wait, hang on. You can you can make a fedora. Can we just make a beer? Oh, there you go. Uh, one uh, Adelhide. Two Bronson extract. One powder delta. Two flanner guides and four karma tree, all mixed. So this is gonna be quite a strong drink. Bubbly classic vintage. Traditionally brewed beer has become a luxury, but this one's pretty close to the real deal. There you go. Here you go. No, no, this isn't gonna cut it. Give me a big one. Um, sure. That beer wasn't enough, apparently. Wait, how are we going to make a big one, then? Because that was already... Oh, hang on. It said the, uh, the Camatrine didn't count, did it? Towards um, the drink, wasn't it? Wait, $200 for a beer? Are you fucking serious? Uh, do we just double everything up, then? New planner guys. And can we put that in as well? Oh, there you go. Look. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Let's try that again. Maybe I don't have to put in double the amount of um, karma tree then. Hang on. Let me set that a minute. Let's put four Bronson extracts in. And just put four. Really? Wait, do we ha not have to put in the Camatrine then? Because that's the only way I can see you can make a bigger one. Oh, fuck. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Do we have to, like, blend it together? I'm getting stuck already. Oh, that's why I didn't double the uh, flannel guide, did I? Yeah, so this would let me do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. How about this one? Ah, yes. Now this one's fit for a man like me. Right. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hellholes, like New Jersey 3. Huh? What kind of work do you do, mister? You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. 
the day started with quite uh, quite the interesting fellow, it seems. Let me have a look at this jacket you've got, Hermione. Oh, it's sort of like a hoodie, then. I'm not sure if that, that pattern's my sort of thing. Then again, I don't think I'm the target audience somehow there. That is an expensive beer, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, that it was just me not getting the uh, not the not getting the doubling uh, correct. Love the pattern. I love uh, little paper boats. I couldn't actually tell what it was on the screen because it was so it's, my screen's so small. I couldn't actually see what it was. Paper boats is a good pattern though. Not bad. Uh, so you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit then. Hey, people love these articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea is some wildcard hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's. That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. And clicks bring money and money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it, my interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help make them full-time employees. I'm just capitalising on this topic while it's popular. And second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker. A hacker? I don't know why I said it like that, but not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors. Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. No need to add to Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid, but if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get disin... Disens... People get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. Fucking hell, a, 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 an editor that doesn't know how to speak English. Great. Uh, when I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. Death's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like these uh, those urban legends. They're easier to write about and you can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot and even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money. Like I said, money's good. Huh. I guess he has a point. How's it going, Couch? Uh, something, something new today. Hope you enjoy it. Quite different. Quite a bit different, in fact. Uh, Hermione, you really have stuff with patterns, so it'd be something new for me. It's worth trying. You, you never know until you try it, really, do you? I, I should probably be a bit more adventurous with clothing, but uh, my general clothing is uh, hoodies or checkered shirts. And that's about it. And jeans. <laughs> uh, what about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomised. The worst part about that is they know they know half of our clicks come from them, so they get all diva-like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about... No, wait. I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. See? The kid on the restaurant critique column. Um, uh... Shit. Forgot that brat's name. Restaurant? I believe that's... That kid. Couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the uh, obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half of the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor Barcelona only gets laughed at when he says that. 
I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? <laughs> no. Wasn't this one then. Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Coming right up. Beer again. This man likes his beers. They come cheaper in bulk at the store, though. <clears throat> Uh, the one I sent is the one I'm unsure about if I should keep it or send it back with the rest. Is it expensive, Hermione? Because hoodies for me are like, I'll buy a hoodie if it's like 10 or 20 quid. I'm pretty cheap with clothing. <laughs> right, so we're going to make another beer. Does he want just a normal beer this time or does he want a massive beer? We, let's make a massive beer for him, shall we? I'm guessing eventually you'll just kind of like remember how to make some of these drinks. Here. Ah, it's the big things that make life worthwhile. That's what she said. I feel like there's going to be a lot of that in this playthrough. Uh, what about Big Troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Right. So tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my constitual, uh, yeah, constitual rights to call this a hellhole. I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. Who's that? Nobody important. <laughs> hey, I heard that. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole, if you like. Charming. So, celebrities. Not really. At least not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Especially the red carpet kind of famous. Uh, those, folks pre uh, those folks people pretend to love but actually want to see fall from grace. Pretend to love? Fall from grace? Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? Uh, people pretend that they love celebs, but what they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level. They want to see them suffer to get their comeuppance for darling, uh, sorry, for daring to be so much more successful than them. Nah, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living someone else's. Sadly, I failed to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals or if they're dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. <laughs> Someone's gonna get triggered! <laughs> uh, 55 euros is the most expensive of the bunch. It's not a hoodie, it's a jacket. And uh, Nakatano makes quite good quality stuff and their item's really comfortable. Uh, so it's more, it's like a thicker hoodie then. Kind of thing or is it kind of got it's got like a thicker hood than usual i mean if you need um if you need a jacket for um for winter mine it's not a, it's not a bad idea is it not a terrible idea at all oh please as a bartender i bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak your kind always loves to hear that stuff uh memphi is that true are you a voyeuristic uh person <laughs> Uh, I only have uh, thin hoodie jackets. It's not a winter jacket, but it could be suitable for autumn. Depends how cold it gets uh, in Germany in autumn, I suppose. Like hood, a t-shirt and a hoodie over here is pretty much fine for autumn for the UK, as long as it's not raining. Just like hairdressers, this sounds hypocritical coming from you. Uh, even if that's the case, I don't sensationalise what people do. I don't make it more than. That person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalise is the key word here. Just the other day I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. 
No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. This problem exists because they're the ones cons uh, constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see they're human. Hey, that dude that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help, sensationalising everything. It feels like they're instigating a behaviour that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, eh, brat? Well, two can play that game of... Hmm... Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat hellbent on world conquest. They're pinky and the brain. <laughs> That's got to be a reference to that, right? Got to be a reference. Sarcasm wastes my time, my money and your energy. Refrain from using it. Sarcasm's the greatest sense, uh, greatest humour of all time, I think. Anyway, I just realised that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Uh, oh, also, all the stuff here is on sale. The jacket normally costs 80 euros. Fucking hell, Hermione. Not cheap. But then if it's a jacket, jackets aren't cheap, are they? Usually. Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? Uh, I bet they would sell quite well. It'd be like that priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts. Uh, we can have you ghostwriting. Half of our staff do that. They do? You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Figures. Anyway. Eventually the people from the stories would know if it, uh, know it's them and blame me. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm getting my tone wrong at points here for some reason. And not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan? D did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or Boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. It is? Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too general, but Mr. Donovan... And that's more like it. They're really referring to me. To the man in front of them. Not to my family, not to my position as boss. To me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, God, no. But I want them to fear me. Sorry, I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss or the name appearing in their paychecks. But rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh, yeah, you were asking something. What was it? Drink? Another one? Do you? Ah oh, yes, yes. But I need to cut myself off. I just remembered I have a night shift later. Give me something bitter and big but not alcoholic. I need to wake myself up. I can do that. Something bitter, big and with no alcohol at all. Again, no, no innuendo here at all. Nothing. I can't think of one thing. This guy seems sounds like a bit of a self-centered asshole, doesn't he? Um, when I was in charge at uh, the shop, I I hated when people called me boss. Like, please don't call me boss. I hate it. I really don't like it. Uh, right? Can we? Okay, can we do it by flavor. Bitter. Uh, let's see. 
Tastes like old chocolate milk with its uh, good smell intact. Some say it tastes like caramel too. Sunshine cloud. A suplex. That's that's got alcohol in it. Uh, Zen star is four of each ingredient, all on the rocks and mixed. Right, not that one. So it's going to be a. It's going to be a sunshine cloud then. Uh, so we need to make four of those. Four of those. And then no karma tree. Oh shit, hang on. Sorry, I just realised it had to be uh, blended and on the rocks. I'm not going to be a very good bartender, am I? Alright, let's try that. Here you go. Here you go. Paint me blue and call me Sue. You can actually do it. This will help me stay up late tonight. Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? You didn't call it a hellhole? Uh, there was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. But aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there were no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. <laughs> okay, it's going to be that kind of game. Sometimes you don't even need to uh, say uh, there's some innuendo there. It's, it's, it's just out there. <laughs> Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well, that's... I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. But no, they have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to uh, uh, uni- I was going to say onions there. You still have to answer to unions, the government and those kind of organisations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make somebody else do it and call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, Hey, why don't you do what that other newspaper does? Recently they told me that they needed more clicks. More clicks! I make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up, but it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks? I'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid before storming off. I wonder what happened with Sven though. We never heard from him again. Yeah, the guy, guy just like went in hard, didn't he? I mean, he did have two massive beers. Maybe that's what did it. Loosened his mouth a little bit. <laughs> Jill! Yes? What the hell happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Crafty dogs, I tell you. You'd think their short legs would hinder them. The, the ceiling. The sinks. The toilets. The vents. Shh. You'll wake up Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I... Big gut punch. Fast. Alright. Uh, he wants a gut punch? I want to give him a gut punch, alright? A big gut punch. Right, five Bronson extracts. So, uh, ten. Is, is there a faster way to do this? Uh, two flanner guides. Uh, do we give him, like, a shit ton of karma tree? It's, um, it's supposed to mean a punch made of innards, but the name actually describes what you feel while drinking it. Okay. All aged. Oh, wait, aged. Okay. Should we give him karma tree? Yeah, let's make it a fucking massive one. Make him fucking super drunk. Here. 
Hmm. You can actually do it then. Hmm. This crack house is a bar. Hellhole. Crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, mister. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says. <laughs> Sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram McDowell. Ingram McDougall. Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. But it's Tuesday. Please, let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple of hours? No. Then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Wow, this guy's a fucking asshole as well. Such pleasant clientele tonight. May I ask why you decided to come to our bar then? Somebody recommended me this place and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all. I'm starting to doubt her tastes. A regular? Can I ask who? No. I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. He's not so bad after all, is he? <laughs> hey Jill, where did you put the dish soap? Gills run out. Below the sink where it's always been. Right. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? I kind of, I'm kind of putting on a little bit of a sarcastic voice because I feel like Jill is going to be a uh, massively sarcastic person. No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off mall rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. That's an achievement and a title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax though. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved class 5 weaponry, the other one a pickup artist, and the latest had an alpaca. <laughs> what? <laughs> an alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but... There's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and she started screaming she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please? There's a word I haven't heard today. Uh, coming right up. He wants a pole driver. I honestly feel like suplexing him though. <laughs> Man, Jill's amazing. I like him Jill already. Uh, by name, pile driver. Free uh, Bronson. Oh, I just want some normal one this time. Three of those. Four of those. Uh, all mixed. Uh, it doesn't burn as hard on the tongue, but you better not have a sore throat when drinking it. There you go. Uh, isn't Jill a code word for the right hand? Is it? I don't think I've ever heard that before. Could anyone else confirm that? Uh, by the way, guys, it's biscuit time. Got uh, got some more McVitie's digestives. I haven't eaten today, so. Always going for the healthy option. Why would it be called a Jill, my name is? Is it like Jack and Jill? Is it that kind of thing? Uh, 
I'm going to be naughty and have two. Uh, let's see this. Oh, I see. Um, <laughs> I, yeah. I can see why it's the best friend now. I really don't spend enough time on the internet. Are you fucking serious? I couldn't spend any more time on the fucking internet if I tried. Holy shit, couch! Fucking hell, man! <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the 500 bits, dude. That's really kind of you. Um, I'm really sad that uh, P5 is done, but goddamn, what a game! I'll never forget that game. I mean, I've got to say my, my favourite part of P5 is the story stuff, so it's actually quite nice to go into basically a game that is purely story based. It's also nice to go into a game that has similarly amazing music as well. But no, yeah, thanks Couch, that's um, super kind of you man. Uh, P3, P4 and P5 are some of my favourite games ever. I, I can see why. I can really see why. I'll just have to go through P3 and P4 at some point. Uh, I might give it a bit of a, a bit of a hiatus though, because there's all, obviously all of the um, all of the uh, what do you call it to go, uh, all the Christmas releases to come yet. Yeah. Right, let's see. Oh, by the way, I was thinking about um, the um, you know like putting a, a money goal down. Um, I think in rather than putting um, like paying for games for the stream, I think first I need to get some uh, better lighting for the stream. So I might put up a, uh, like a, a money goal for next week for buying some new lighting for the stream. I reckon it'll be about like you know like maybe about thirty or forty quid maybe for for lights. Have to. Um, I need to look into it over the weekend. I keep thinking this music is going to be Darude Sandstorm. I fucking hope not. I really do. Here. Hmm. It's fine, I guess. Hey, lady. Have you ever faked an orgasm? Ha whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Where's that come from? I'm sorry. I think I heard wrong. I asked if you've ever faked an orgasm. That's a question I'm not going to answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere of people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually. But for that moment, that uh, the lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. <laughs> Does that mean you've really faked orgasms? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. I I don't think this man knows how to talk to ladies. Like, I'm not an expert, but I know that's something you definitely don't ask. I know more and more why I don't want to be a bartender, yeah. I think that's I think that's fair. That is quite an insult, yeah. Still, that's quite the random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. <sighs> of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. A fringe weaver? Uh, wow, that's really alcoholic. Uh, all aged and mixed. Okay. Two. Oh, it's just me fill it up, isn't it? Uh, it's like drinking. Uh, is it eth ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar? Try 
try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey lady, have you ever felt empty? Empty how? Like, hungry? No, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel there's this part of me, uh, myself that lacks something. An urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is? Bitches and alcohol. <laughs> I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of SED STDs, so I left midway through. I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. I've also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day for three years in a row now. This guy's fucking messed up. Nothing seems to do it. Um, have you tried rescuing a puppy? You can't fuck puppies. At least you shouldn't. Oh my god! What is this game? I was not expecting any of this. <laughs> uh, so what's the background on this game? Couch, um, so far as I can tell, we're basically a bartender that is trying to pay our uh, rent. And that's about it. And it seems like we're just meeting people and listening to their stories. Okay, my boyfriend likes the jacket. I think I'm going to keep it and him. <laughs> He's really open with his preferences. At least he knows you shouldn't do bestiality. Yeah, true. That is true. But still, holy shit. Fucking hell. <laughs> this isn't the kind of... Um, like, I don't think this is... Our chats get pretty, like, unpolitically correct at points. This this doesn't happen. Got a bit of hiccup going on there. Uh, I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me or to believe me. Eh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. This smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Good. <laughs> Looks like someone I want to punch, though, and be too afraid to punch because he'd, I'd probably be dead in no time. Yeah, he looks like he'd probably be quite a mean drunk, doesn't he? There's been a distinct lack of puppy fucking on this stream. Uh, we're going to keep it that way, Couch. <laughs> if you're okay, I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint. It's going to stay that way. <laughs> You. Boss, I'm going to take my break. All right. Ah, so what? Uh, so this is this is Jill. Ah, so we can get a save in. Wow, that's a really that's a really relaxing save screen, right? Let's just put. A, we've got to have like a thousand saves as usual. <clears throat> it's now safe to keep playing. Oh my god, this gate, this music is so relaxing. Oh my god. I'm going to keep going on about it for ages, by the way. Uh, couch, just by the way, I don't know if you've seen, at the top there, you are top for bits now for the month. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, if he's me a mean sober, I bet he's a mean drunk. I don't know if he was drunk, though. He was probably at least a little bit drunk, right? Yeah, latest sub Hermione, we worked out what the latest sub thing was, by the way. It was um, Guyngard and uh, Mystified Fluked, uh, both subbed at basically the same time. So Guyngard got the thing on the screen, but didn't get the latest sub, whereas Mystified Fluke didn't get the, uh, the Sonic alert, but got the latest sub. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> it just happened to be that they did it at the same time, and it just fucked up the, uh, the sub count for, for whatever reason. Uh, at least I didn't get locked up this time. Can we just do random songs? No. I'm going to stick with the same ones for now. Okay then, back in action. Good evening. Good eve. Um, would you mind taking your helmet off? 
Oh, sorry. It's so comfortable I usually forget I have it on. Wow, we're getting the waifus. <laughs> uh, is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, miss? Uh, Master Specialist Sei P. Asagiri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. Oh, take a breath. Uh, Asagiri might be a reference to... Actually, that must be. So, um, okay, this is... We're getting really, like, into... In, like, uh, the references are going to get really obscure now. Uh, the first anime I ever saw that got me into it was a an anime called Bubblegum Crisis. And one of the main um, characters was um, a character called Pris Asagiri, I believe. So I'm guessing this is a reference to that. I'm hoping, anyway. That's really impressed me, by the way. Because no one knows fuck all about Bubblegum Crisis. One of my favourite series of all time. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Say. Uh, what can I get for you, Say? Let's see. I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet, as in cool. Although, a cool drink would be nice too. Um, but not cool as in great. And especially not as in big. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow and I can't afford a hangover. Um, sorry, did you get that? A sweet drink, preferably a cold one that's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that. Give me a sec. Something small, sweet and icy. I wonder if I have something so specific. Uh, sweet. Let's see. <clears throat> right, no ice in that one. Bitter, girly, and soft. No. Hang on. So by flavour. Sparkle star. No. That's uh, that's not got ice in it. No. Moonblast. Oh, here we go. Um, no relation to the Hadron Cannon. Oh, yeah, we've made one of these, haven't we? Is that going to do it? Let me just check the others. So that's... Um, small, sweet and icy. That's, that's quite a big drink, isn't it? Uh, a brand teen... A brand teeny... Nope, hasn't got ice. A piano woman. That's a fucking massive drink. It has to be that that one then, doesn't it? A moon blast. I suppose it's not. It's only big if you double it, I guess, isn't it? Right. So on the rocks. Six of these. One of those. One of those two of those and it's got to be blended there you go here you are ah yes this is just what I needed thanks uh, we don't get many night uh, white knights as clients I can only remember one other in fact you said you're from the Valkyrie Corps right are you the guys who deal with riots and such riots Oh, no, no, no. You're thinking the Blitz... Uh, you're thinking the Blitzkrieg Corps. The one with huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we're different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal and protect. We are the angels who soothe those suffering enemy attacks. Sounds like, um... Mercy, doesn't she? From, a uh, Overwatch. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times, the ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. Um, what was that? Sorry, it's sort of our pledge of allegiance. We recite it every morning. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured and protecting them from... stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. 
I'm also kind of like a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building. I looked down and I was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Oh, and there was this uh, time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant. With the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was all almost dreamlike. But that's not what I meant by shocking sights. No? But those are sights, and they're shocking, right? Yeah, but... never mind. Wait, did I mishear you and actually mean... meant size? I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest and most frustrated sighs from people after everything's said and done, but... Don't worry, you didn't miss here. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry too much about it. You finished your drink, can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy, a classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big, does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem, don't worry. A classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find for you. Classy drink, simple enough. Uh, type? Ah, uh, that's a- okay, good. We're, this game is just fucking full of references. So, Bad Touch, we're nothing but mammals after all. I think is a, um... I think that's a Bloodhound Gang song, isn't it? If my music knowledge doesn't fail me, which it usually does. Can we just make any type of... Um, classy drink. Not too big. Um. That was really strong. Let's go for that one. Uh, two Bronson, two Powdered, two Flanagide, four Carmatrine, Rocks Mixed. Yeah, that's it, Hermione. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't the only one uh, remembering that. I loved, I loved Bloodhound Gang when I was at school. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Well, they don't have others, but she's the only one I've known for the longest. She likes these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know my name, now I want to know yours. Oh sure, just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm. Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian Ju Julianne? Do not call me Julianne, please. <laughs> yeah, she seems nice. She seems a bit um a little bit out there, doesn't she? Like not not quite all there. A little bit head in the clouds, maybe, but she seems super nice. Especially compared to the last two people. <sighs> Sorry about that. No, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on it. Oh, okay. I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill. And I don't like angering at nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. Uh, what do you like about it? The smell of dog urine and soap. <laughs> My 
My mum used to be a veterinarian and I used to go to a clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. Okay, that makes more sense. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. Ahem. <laughs> Uh, what made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. The white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next. I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since then I was uh, I felt this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Huh. It's interesting though. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I kind of guide myself toward judging everything on an individual uh, on an indi uh, on an individual basis. Well, not to an extremist extent, but you get me. Yeah, I try to do the same too. Why well, join the Valkyrie Corps specifically though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type, there are many different classes. Rescue, assault. There's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. The fewer are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under the table deals. Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should, I can't afford that many drinks. And besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. I remember some drink called a martini? Brantini. Nah, no, I'm pretty sure it's martini. It's Brantini, trust me. I'll get you one. She wants a martini. Sorry, a Brantini. We're gonna get the shaken but uh shaken not stirred thing here. Oh dear! Oh. For some reason I'm getting like a real crick in my neck playing this. I don't know why. I need to like rest my head back on the on the back of the chair. Hang on, let me let me move forward a bit. There you go. Right, a Brantini. Uh, eight out of ten smug assholes would recommend it, but they're too busy being smug assholes. <laughs> uh, I've got to say though, like the Val Valkyries sound cool, don't they? I've always thought like the the term Valkyries was a cool one. Or like the group Valkyries is a cool group. Like on uh, Thor, um, latest, was it late? Yeah, Ragnarok has uh, Valkyries in it, doesn't it? She's drinking quite a bit for not wanting a hangover the next day. Yeah, I'm trying to work out if she's um, a cyborg or not, or if she's just got on like a uh, suit of armor. Three powdered Delta, one Carmatrine, all aged and mixed. There you go. Lots of Valkyries in the new God of War. Oh god, couch, don't mind me. Fucking like absolutely destroyed me most of those Valkyries. I think I got I killed about four of them. And uh I don't know why I didn't kill the others actually. One of them I just didn't see any way of killing because it was so hard. Um I was playing it on hard, by the way. Which probably explains things. Um but yeah, I think I did four of them in the end. Okay, my best friend also said the jacket looks nice, so now it's two pro jacket voted. Yeah, I think that's it, Hermione. How many votes do you need, though, before you're happy? Pretty sure he switched it to easy. I I was tempted to do God of War mode originally, but then um, saw that you can't um, can't turn down the difficulty once you've started on it, and I didn't really want to um, turn people away in my first stream. <laughs> 
by getting stuck on the same bit forever. Here, see? Ah, you were right. Thanks. You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days. Really? Why? I like the feel of this place and I want to share it with her. It might be a bit difficult though. She's more into, um, classier places. Now, not that this place isn't nice, but, but... Don't worry, I know the kind of place I work in. I... I see. But it shouldn't be too bad. I just need to... What was that? It sounded like an explosion. I'd better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. She left her helmet. Well, if she's coming back, I'll just hold it for her. I'll go check what the ever-loving hell that was. Ex uh, that explosion was. Careful. What? Oh, she woke up. Where, where am I? Where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might not have been the best thing to say. <laughs> but Valhalla? Am I dead? D does this mean that Uncle Ingus' ramblings, uh, Uncle Ingus's ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar are true? Called it. <laughs> afterlife? I'm not dead. As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? Alright, then where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Well, well, why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries, otherwise you'll just... You're rapists, aren't you? Rapists! The whole lot of you! You want to tear my clothes, beat me unconscious, have your horrible way with me and then brutally murder me, don't you? All while still violating every hole in my body as I lay there twitching, don't you? Fucking hell, that's uh, you painted quite the picture there, lady. Murder, 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 murder. Interrupt me. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down. Or to throw at her face. Think carefully, Jill. Give us something that will calm her down. Um... How's it going, GCB? Uh, this is uh, its a visual novel, dude. So we're basically a bartender and we're uh, listening to people's problems while mixing them drinks. So we need to get this girl a drink that's going to calm her down. Now let's, let's go back to the beginning. Um... It's so unnecessarily brown. Uh, that's what I keep saying about Morrowind, but no one believes me. I just want to see if any of them will say. It will knock the drunkenness out of you or knock you out cold. Do we have to get, should we get her something strong? I don't know. I'm not sure, you know. I need a spicy drink. I don't know if that would calm her down, it'd probably make it, it would make it worse, wouldn't it? Probably a sweet drink, maybe? What haven't we tried yet? A blue fairy? Sweet, girly and soft. Uh, one of these will make all your teeth turn blue. Hope you brush them well. Let's try that. Uh, 
Um, all aged and mixed. Should we put Karmatrine in? Let's put let's put one in. Make it a little bit alcoholic. Look, what is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bars serve drinks. That bar? So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. To calm down? What? Did you spice it up? Uh, what did you spice it up with? Roofies? TTX? Pumpkins? Good God, no. I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know. If I ever added anything like that to your drink, they'd dock my pay and tips. Not to mention I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They'd show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all that is just... Ugh. Even if you say that, let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane... Uh, Dana Zane sent you. Hmm. <laughs> Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? A hole in the street? Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet papers locker? What about... I? Oh my god. How? Why? What? How? I'm back. He tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. It says negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store. He even knew your name. Good point. But first of all, it's not my name. It's my boss's. Second, we are pretty much part of a chain. Sort of like the spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. Uh, you can just ignore the drink. Go through that door and forget this ever happened. That'll be it. You're at peace and nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? Fucking hell, she's annoying! Eh? Uh, eh? And what about the drink? Are you going to let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? No, I... Well, I'll let you know I'm not that unimportant and that your work does matter. Um, not sure you should drink it all so fast. So, how was it? It was good, I, I guess. It will help me calm down a bit, I think. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd have probably reacted the same way. I should apologise for my last comment too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crash outside. I... I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the street, stripped of clothes, dignity and or organs. How did you fall unconscious? Are you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider it an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay then, I'll take you on your offer. I'll have a piano man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just got the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up then. He's asking for a piano man. You don't see women asking for a piano man every day. Where is it? 
Uh, it was originally called Pretty Woman, but too many people complained that there should be a piano woman if there was a piano man. Oh, she's asking for piano man. Hang on, was there a piano man there as well? Oh, there is, yeah, okay. Uh, this drink does not represent the opinions of the Bar Pianists Union or its associates. <laughs> oh dear. I'm liking, uh, I'm, I'm sort of digging the atmosphere and the, um... Eight, four, five. And like the, the, the characters so far in this. Jesus, this is a strong drink. Uh, mix. Here. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. What did he do? Your dad, I mean, to provoke the pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist leapt off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad looked like some, uh, some music critic that had bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. I see. The Piano Man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honour of a pianist friend of his that had just died. Apparently it mixes all the flavours said friend liked the most. Oh, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? I read, I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. So you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. Ho ho ho! Wow. <laughs> um. Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people have it done before they realise what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to make a work server maintenance. Uh, sorry, at work? He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. And would you believe it, the guy became decent at server maintenance despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time I hate his guts. Ugh. Knowing that I have to work for him, it's... Ugh. Why are you working there then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? No, no don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it though. Fair enough. Uh, what's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. All while answering the uh, whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point I thought about being a bartender. I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know. I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My, bo uh, my boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's so cool and collected, but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days. Even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it though, uh, but... <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. But it's fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I, could, I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. 
One brand teeny, please. Coming right up. She wants a brand teeny. Sorry, I'm not. Ah, a brand teeny. Yeah, that. <laughs> oh, dear. Guys, what do you think so far? I appreciate it's probably not a lot of uh, a lot of opportunity for you to kind of like chat at the moment because it's just a lot of a lot of talking, isn't it? You're enjoying it. Oh, cool. Good. I'm glad. It's something very different, isn't it? I've never, like I said, I've never played um, visual novels before. Um, but if I'm going to do Doki Doki at some point, I figure I might as well uh, might as well do this first. Music is super good, isn't it? I think the guy guy that made it is... Well, I don't know if it's a guy, actually. The person who made it, I think their name is Garode. I really, really enjoy the music. If I was to get... If I was ever to make a game, I think I'd get them to make the music for it. So um, I'm just making food, so I'm not talkative. That's fine, honey. Don't worry. I'm just uh, I'm just hoping everyone's um, enjoying themselves. It's uh, it's much quieter in here today. I think we've got you know less people. This is probably not going to be the game for everyone, is it? So, um, but yeah, Kim seems a bit. Um, she seems like she'd be scared by even just the wind being a bit strong, you know. Right. So we need to make a brand teeny. Uh, we've made one of these already. Uh, aged. Here. Yep, this seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey Jill, was this job like a lifelong, a lifelong dream or something? Not really, it just kind of happened. One thing led to another, and bam, bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a model warrior Julianne... A, a model warrior Julianne arcade machine? Holy shit, Jill. The woman of my dreams. <laughs> Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not... What? Wait, hang on a minute. Why is this cut coming up? I don't know what I pressed there for that to happen. Uh, not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Is that the right hand button? Oh, please don't tell me my mouse is freaking out. My, my mouse's um, scroll wheel is fucked. And it sometimes plays up. I really need to get a new one. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks, being a model warrior. Oh, childish dreams, yeah. I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So, no dreams. None that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way I became a bartender. I see. Finally. Those dogs left a mess I'm not going to forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, a client. Uh, good night, ma'am. Jill, I'm going to leave early. I need to take care of the smell clinging to my body. Sure. Um, who's he? A ghost. Nobody you should worry about. Oh. I heard that. <laughs> Why were you asking all those questions? Because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealise the idea of a dream job too much. Uh, not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Wow, this is getting deep, guys. Some take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm going to take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye! Thank you and come again. And that's it. Are we done for the night? 
Seems like it. Dana kind of looks like the most Final Fantasy character ever. She looks like, um, I forget his name, the, the guy out of um, Final Fantasy X. No, Final Fantasy XIII. Is it Hope? With that haircut. Where's Gil? And where's the girl that was here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks and left. So she's called Kim. How does she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey boss, do you feel like calling uh, your boss is too impersonal? Hmm? Not really, no. It's not like you call me that because it's, I'm a stranger. Just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Oh, there we go. Oh wow, so you actually get a thing here as well. Here's an extra for helping that girl calm down. Sweet. No mistakes. 30% commission. $759. Oh, wait, we got, wait, hang on. We got $750 worth of tips. Flawless service bonus. So we got $2,509 for like one day's work. Yeah, I, I'm in couch. I think I'm in the fucking wrong business as well. <laughs> Holy shit. That's loads of money. Now I'm going to like fucking spaff it on loads of video games. She'd buy that arcade machine, couldn't she? Uh, where's my mouse gone? Where are you? Oh, I just got to click to continue. There you go. Uh, your <laughs> shining finger does not sound correct. Got to make sure I have at least $800 in my account for the 17th. Uh, Jill is lost in thought about a hollow plant. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now browse danger... Uh, you, you can now visit J.C. Elton's. So I think four, I think four's the cat. Uh, when are you going to have curry yesterday? A ghost took my money. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, that's true. I, yeah, a two hundred dollar beer is pretty, pretty, pretty expensive, isn't it? Yeah. So this is this is Jill. And this is Jill. Should we see if there's any more news reports? Uh, local woman, local hero. Uh, this morning, a suicide attempt was thwarted by an unidentified local woman. The incident occurred at the Artemis Mill, uh, sorry, Artemis Will Mall, where people noticed someone was at the rooftop of the building. Uh, firefighters were called as soon as their presence was noticed by pedestrians, but the person jumped off without notice. Uh, a mysterious rescuer. Just when the would-be suicide victim jumped off, a local woman was able to catch them mid-air and fled the scene before anyone could identify her. The mall is taking extra security measures now. 70% of our readers consider... Shrimp ramen to be disgusting. This is not really a surprise, but a lot of people seem to hate this particular brand of instant food. This is from a survey we conducted here at the Augmented Eye last month. We asked our readers to tell us their most hated dishes. With a total of 6,000 votes, it looks like the market for shrimp ramen is reducing. That's good, because it sucks. It sucks so much, I barf a little every time I smell it. How can anyone like that? It's ridiculous. Ugh, can't even finish this article. I'm sorry everyone, but I have to puke. Blech. I hope it's put out of sale. <laughs> I like this paper. <laughs> I think Alice Rabbit may be... I think Alice Rabbit might be a dog. A dog, you say? Why not? After receiving brain enhancements, they're capable of learning at near human speeds. So why is it so impossible to imagine a gifted dog who uses their brilliance for programming? It makes a lot of sense, right? Well, maybe... 0101010111. Um, that, that strikes me as a Cowboy Bebop reference in terms of... Um, that could be Ayn, maybe? Because Ayn was a data dog, isn't he? In Cowboy Bebop. So he's a lot smarter than the average dog. Okay, um, what's this all about? 
Danger you, dangerous opinions. Is this a subreddit? Uh, let's start from the bottom. I think we're meant to be starting from the bottom. Miki concert. Okay, so let's limit all the concert conversation to this thread. How are you preparing for the best day of your life? I'm going... With my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Why would you lie on the internet? <laughs> oh, wow. Fucking normies, get out. This is so cute and on. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm going with a very special friend of mine. Are you the girl from the other day who had a crush on her best friend? Y yes. So you're finally gonna confess? Oh my god, this is gonna be the cutest thing. But I still don't know if I like her. Just wait until Miki shows up. You'll know right away if you love her. Trust me, I've been there. How so? You will understand once you are there with her. Miki concerts are some magical shit. This thread is closed. God, they really this Alice this Alice Rabbit thing seems to be it's probably gonna be the main sort of hook of the game, isn't it? I guess main plot point. Uh, what it says on the tin. So what's the news on them? Hmm, drawing a blank right now. We haven't heard of Alice in a while now that I think of it. You think they're planning something? There's this constant rumor I hear about a terrorist attack next week. Don't scare me with that stuff, please. I have enough as it is. LOL, we're going to be attacked and it'll be funny to see those white knights, white knights fucks do nothing but drink. How do you know, uh, sorry, how do you know if you get hacked by Alice? It's my first time reading about them. Lurk more. She normally leaves a funny uh, ASCII drawing and a message, something like, happy not birthday. Sounds lame as fuck. Why is Alice even a celebrity? The hell? Alice was the one who leaked all the internal white knights memos. She literally started the riots with the leaks. At least try with your baits. Getting trolls. Uh, in the last thread, uh, Anon wants to confess her friend uh, feelings to her best friend. I still don't know. And how is she? I bet she's one of those cute, clueless girls who can't catch her signals. Hmm. You say that, but she can be incredibly sharp sometimes. So I was right. That's going to be difficult. Now you have to be direct and to the point. I'm afraid that's not going to be the case here. No, not that I'm actually in love. Stop. I'm going to marry Miki. <laughs> Stop being such an attention whore. We are here for Miki. Come on, Anon. Don't be mean. We just want to help a fellow Miki sister. You don't have to fight because of me. It wasn't my intention to de uh, derail the thread. Don't pay attention to her. Everyone else here wants to help you. I'm a guy. Now, who's the attention whore again? <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, I want to see what's in this shop. She wants a hollow plant, right? Why is all the music amazing? I shouldn't be complaining, should I? <laughs> Can we actually buy that arcade machine for her? Let's read through these. We've got cute clay houses. Feel the thrill of being scammed by souvenirs without leaving Glitch City. Uh, Maneki Neko. They say these bring luck, but its paw is broken, so I wouldn't trust him. Uh, Kiramiki poster. I could tear on off any wall in the vicinity, but hell knows what germs they have. Cutesy game poster. Post for some cutesy game about a pink-haired witch flying on a broom. Sorted cartridges. They're games no collectors want, uh, but they're still nice for displaying. A cracked Darama. A Japanese souvenir that has seen better days. Still has a vintage charm to it. Alex figurine? From cult classic video game, Yik. His beard grows in real time. Uh, movie poster, Night of the ID Snatchers, the beloved police mockumentary. A mega Christmas tree. Celebrate the bastardized commercial version of an already bastardized celebration. <laughs> Replica toy touring. Not as sentient, but just as cute. Oh, I think Turing's a um, character in another visual novel. I think it's um, 2064. It's another like cyberpunk type thing. Don't quote me on that. PC9X is vintage gaming. Experience all the cumbersome load times they were meant to be. Uh, Joker Cyclone. Despite the noisy name, it's just a fan. Fans are good though. Really good. Hollow Plant. In memory of a real potted plant. Uh, paper lantern. Thanks to the chemical coating preventing bugs from eating it, we advise against using it. Beer on discount. 
The owner is trying to quit drinking, so he's selling on dirt cheap. A thousand dollars is dirt cheap. Inflation is rough. Tell me about it, Couch. Although, to be fair, if you're getting that much money for a, a day's work, it kind of balances out, I guess, doesn't it? Meet the staff. This one's a scrap of paper with the download code for Meet the Staff Scribbles. Kirimiki Banner. Uh, a Sashimono or War Banner with Kiri, sorry, Kira Miki's face on it fills you with fanaticism. Shoulder Massager for those days where you've built up too much tension. And Mulan Tea. A coveted tea based liquor tastes like green tea and kicks like whiskey. Let's get the hollow plant because she asked for that. There you go. Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. Do we... Oh, look, that's the hollow plant. I was going to say, does it show in the... Uh... Does it actually show here? I just realised there's a... She's got a, uh, a shirt that says slut on it here. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's, uh, let's go to work. Wednesday, December 14th. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Wah! That's the sound you don't hear every day. But boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it came from. A white knight came yesterday. She left and, well, she got to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the count. Wait. Do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. You sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable. And cool. And comfortable. And cool. And... And really, really cool. <laughs> I'm digging Dana. Dana's cool. Hello. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was... Ah! Don't run, you have work to do. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Ch Chief? S sorry, I thought you were someone else. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The, the what now? <laughs> oh, nearly, nearly got it. The what where now? Nothing, never mind. She seems happy. She's been tense these past couple of days. If she's somehow relaxed now, good. Are you all set? Yep. All right. Uh, I feel like we should maybe um, switch some of these out, maybe. Let's take all of them out and we'll just uh, go through the front this time. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, that was good. That's good. Also good. Why is it why is it all good? Yeah, let's go for that. That one's not quite as relaxing. I'm not sure if I like that one as much. It's still good, but I'm kind of up for like a chill stream, you know. Uh who was I? That'll do. Troubling news. It's alright. Yep. Yeah. I think this one was really good as well, wasn't it? Yeah, I really like that one. And then there was a load from the end that were really good. I don't think it was that one. That's nice. I kind of wish they just have a, uh, like, um, just taking songs out rather than having to pick them, but I guess it makes you check the music, doesn't it? It definitely deserves to be heard, this music. Let's 
see that never sleeps. Yeah, that's cool. Heart of the city. I think Dusk was a good one, wasn't it? Yeah, I like that one. Carmatrine Dream. <laughs> Digital Drive. I can't remember what the other... There's a couple of good ones, isn't there? I, I, they're all good, like I said, but... Yeah, that, that sounds relaxing. Uh, time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, Brett, you're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Luck, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? The usual. Gee, I wonder what he means. Uh, so this is, I suppose, where the game comes in. I, I guess you've got to remember what everyone... What kind of drinks everyone wants. Where are the boobs? Visual novel. Um, dude, they don't always have boobs in them. Do they? I've not played one before, but I can't imagine they all have boobs in. Saying that, we've we've already had um, bestiality mentioned in this, and uh, someone potentially being raped in every hole. So it's definitely not a game for kids. Could could still be boobs. Who knows? I don't think this game was on the banned list, so we should be all right. How's it going, Ian? How was your um? How was your first, uh, your house visit, sorry. Was it alright? Steam newly released top 10 tells me there are boobs. Uh, I suppose they're the ones that sell, aren't they? Boobs sell. Everyone loves boobs. Alright, so this guy wants a massive beer. I don't know if I should be, like, writing these down, so I feel like I'll forget over time. But is that cheating? Oh, you weren't there. Okay. I suppose, yeah, I suppose you, ha you don't. You're not there, are you? Yeah. Of course you're not. Where do you go when that happens? Yeah, three thousand two hundred eighty dollars. Yeah, but look how much the beer is. It's two hundred dollars for a beer. Here you go. You know what? I'm actually gonna I'm gonna bring up my notes here and I'm gonna write these down. Uh, Donovan equals beer. Yes, so that's what I call service. That's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today we were supposed to hand the interns an article topic. Uh, all those crazy bitches came flocking to me like the first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here, blessing your hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday too. How did that come about? There's this gal that's performing at a concert later tonight. Yesterday I was tuning the details of the interview I'd have with her today. And like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. I see. How was the interview? Easy enough. The fact that the gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. There you go, Ian. There's your, there's your boobs. They're not, vis they're not like actually there, but. Oh, uh, just go out to the pub and have a snack. It's a good idea. It's, it's not a bad idea. We've come a long way in the Department of Lilim Sex Appeal. I tell you. She was a Lilim then. What's a Lilim? Yes, one of those new fancy King Class CH1A models. I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Hmm. Hey you, the guy with the John face. Huh? Me? What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. It was the Hong Kong riots 10 years ago, right? I, I've i never been to Hong Kong, and I certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force about stealing supplies. Uh, after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. 
You in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicon business. So I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors when those damned riots broke out. Oh, this music is so fucking good! This is the, uh, like, the full version of the Be Right Back song, isn't it? Uh, seriously though, did they really think the laws there uh, they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. Oh, hello Deus Ex. No matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation like that, you're doomed. This is the PR sentry. If you're going to do that, disguise it a bit. Yeah, sorry, Ian. This is, this is, I mean, that bit especially, that was basically just the AFK music. <laughs> I, 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 it's so good. This song especially is amazing. Uh, that's a very laconic way of summarising the instant. What does laconic mean? Like lackadaisical, does she, does, he, does, la, does she mean? I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labour. And the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans. And everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests where... On second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. Uh, tight-lipped, like not wanting to talk about it. Cool, okay. No, I've not heard of that term before. Back for more, boy. Uh, Memphi, how how many of those beers have you uh, polished off, dude? <laughs> not got not not got to ninety six yet. I take it. Uh, you've had seven beers. Holy shit, dude! I'd be on the I'd be on the fucking floor by now. Trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the industrial revolution. All that happened when I got out of high school. Uh, I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. Heh, <laughs> scholarship. That's no mean feat, brat. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been uh, the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's one of those things I'd rather not mem remember much of. You'd be surprised at how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza face pencil neck. And I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well... I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Uh, play the League of Legends game, it went, to hell on the s it went to hell on the second game, carried on the first. You had to go around six, right? Yeah, Memphis, I'm going to... The thing is, like, it doesn't look like I get, um, I get to save very often. So I'm gonna have to be careful when I, when I call it off. I might have to call it off a bit early, perhaps. This guy is an ass hat. Can you heat move him? Uh, he is an ass hat. He is definitely an ass hat. But I don't know. He, I, I get the feeling that he's gonna maybe be a bit nicer by the end of the game. Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine? Canta what? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written words, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you're only going to Hong Kong. Well, you might have learned Mandarin because it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. R right. Anyways, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars Blast too, right? Ahem. Uh, sure, on it. He wants a Mars Blast? That's a change of pace, alright? <laughs> what the... <laughs> Is that Weeaboo? You meant to put Weeaboo there, Memphi. Because you, are, I, I am definitely a Weeaboo myself. Well, not not Weeaboo necessarily, because a Weeaboo is meant to be someone who desperately wants to be Japanese, isn't it? 
but it's kind of turned into just people that like basically anime or Japanese shit. Uh, right, a Mars Blast. I should probably write down that he likes these. Mars Blast. Right, what's a Mars Blast? One of these is enough to leave your face red like the actual planet. Okay. Yeah, I, I love me, I love anime and like, you know, all that sort of shit, dude. It's, um, it's one of those things that like, I don't know if you've found it. Uh, I suppose it depends where you're from. But um, in, over here, like back when I was growing up, it wasn't terribly like accepted to like games. Like it was, it was pretty uncool. It was pretty, still pretty niche. But um, anime was even more so. Like there, you couldn't get any of it anywhere. Um, games, games by like the late, you know, by the late '90s were pretty much they were cool and accepted, or at least more, much more accepted. I feel like anime hasn't been. I don't even know if anime is even that accept, accepted yet. But it's a lot more accepted now than it was like 20 years ago, definitely. Um, when I tell people I like anime, I'm instantly being shot down. Yeah, you know what? I, everyone's like, "Oh, what you like? You like anime? You like like porn? Like cartoon porn?" It's like what? What? It's just like generalizing, isn't it? You swap anime videos with friends because they were hard to get hold of. Guyver, crying Freeman and stuff. Yeah, you know, what? Ian, I didn't, I didn't even have that. I, I had to. I used to watch them on Channel Four at like midnight. So I'd watch stuff like Violence Jack or um, Cyber City 08808 and stuff like that. I, I found, um, uh, I think it's the old sci-fi channel as well. So what I'd usually do is uh, at the weekend, I'd go around my nan's house because she had Sky. And then I'd watch some anime and then I'd watch some like wrestling as well. It was super cool. Then again, town full of nerds, weebs and weirdos. I love it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I mean, cartoons and anime are different. I suppose cartoons is just sort of the generalised kind of... Like, a cartoon should be, like... I would say that's a western... westernised sort of... Uh, it's a western cartoon, whereas an anime is, a, is an eastern cartoon. But, I don't know, I, there's probably an actual definition of it. Cartoon's probably just the, the overall thing, isn't it? That's where you used to record them from. Oh, what, from Channel 4 and uh, Sky? Yeah. Man, Channel 4 used to be the fucking shit at midnight, yeah. Uh, technically, not as far as I know, anime just stands for animated series and a cartoon is the same. I think people refer to anime if it's Japanese and cartoon if it's Western. Yeah, exactly. I think that's, that's basically what it's boiled down to, isn't it? It's probably not the correct terms, but I think that's kind of what it's boiled down to. Yeah, I, I think that's where it gets a bit odd, isn't it? Because when you've got stuff like Transformers or Thundercats and part of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles being animated by Japanese companies, like, that's technically anime, but I would still consider that a cartoon. Um, yeah, I, yeah it's, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I might have to look into that. Right, a Mars Blast. Why is, there, why is there two slots? Maybe that'll come into play later, perhaps. Two Camatrine, all blended. There you go. Yeah, I think it... I, Mem, Memphi, you're probably right. There might not even be a correct term for it. I think it might just come down to personal preference, really. I just remember recording them, watching them, much to the confusion of my dad, because it was new and we didn't know much about it. Uh, it was generally ultra violent, and then once in a while, tentacles did feature. Um, wait, your dad watched that with you? Do you still do you still talk to him? <laughs> I remember being horrified when I first saw a pretty explicit manga with absolutely no warning. Yeah. Differentiation for comic and manga is easier. Manga is the one you read backwards. Yeah, exactly. And, oh, Manwa is the Korean version, which is often more brutal, as I found it. Really? I've not heard uh, Manwa as a term, actually. That's pretty cool. Didn't know that. 
No, only one TV in the house, so if you're watching videos, people have to put up with it. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, uh, you have very accepting parents. Mine, mine wouldn't watch um, any anime. Not at all. Doesn't matter how good it is. I think I tried to watch them, uh, make them watch one episode of Cowboy Bebop when they were showing it on a channel once, and uh, they they weren't weren't fast on it at all. Uh, the word is man manhua. Is that here? All right, I guess I'll believe your story. Right. Hey kid, I got wasted yesterday, so there's certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything someone could use against me in a court of law? Unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I don't think so. Oh good. Fuck those sons of bitches. What did I tell you? How they wanted unreasonable stuff? How they feel like they have more power than you do and all that? Uh, oh yeah, I recall something like that. But then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. That and racial slurs in German. Uh-oh! <laughs> Hermione's gonna get triggered! <laughs> Jess is unimpressed with Cowboy Bebop because she is a philistine. Why did you marry her, Ian? I'm sorry, but that that's like... That's a divorceable offence in my book. <laughs> the only uh, manhua I read was uh, Chonshu, which was really pretty bloody. If I remember correctly, the story is kind of a bit like Highlander. Okay. There can only be one. Right, what kind of racial slurs are we going to get? She's shouting at me from the other room now. What's she shouting? Racial slurs in... what? But let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. Excuse me? Your readers. If you think client's always right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. You can sell the shittiest of stuff and people will buy it if you're the apple of their eye. But make one fucking mistake and it's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. Sounds like Twitch streaming. <laughs> I'm selling the shittiest stream, but if I make one mistake, I'll be dropped. <laughs> No chance for appeal. Gods forbid if they ever catch something you said out of context. A month ago we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about cougars in nearby forests. All because we got a pack of 40 year old divorced soccer mums crying about hurt feelings. They were having picnic parties in the same forest and thought we were writing about them. God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by their damned namesake. Yeah, it's funny when somebody else hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always out for a blood. You can't win. You will always offend somebody. Fucking hell, this is, um... <laughs> this is kind of hitting a nail on the head uh, for a lot of stuff recently, isn't it? Wait, Ian... Ian, Jess is shouting racial slurs at you. <laughs> Spidey isn't Persona 5. We uh, we finished it yesterday, dude. It's done. 150 hours and it's done. How dare you. She's a massive racist. <laughs> Ian, I don't, I don't think she'd feel um, happy with you spreading slander around about her. When she can't defend herself. <laughs> And while someone, uh, while some take it graciously, many just feel love, love feeling insulted. They relish the thought of ganging up against something. And those hypersensitive bastards, your clients, they're the ones you have to target. I run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present the news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. Sure, let's go with that. Best game is making you insult her in the third person while well, she can't hear it. What, me me insulting her? Or you insulting her in the third person? <laughs> you finished it without me? Eh, I didn't like it anyway. Oh, come on, Spidey. You, you liked it. The VODs are up. You can watch the VOD if you really, uh... 
Wait, are you are you make? Hang on a minute. Are you getting me into trouble with Jess? Because that's bullshit. And there's there is uh, video evidence of this. I will clip this and I will send it to her, and then she'll see that you're you're actually the villain. <laughs> I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but hearing it from him is kind of. Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview and it must be posted as soon as possible. Uh, the, facts, the fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something to lay the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of, the, uh, one of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason she just didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? Did you have to pay or something? Basically, when uh, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure. Uh, Mr. Donovan wants something bitter to wake him up. I wonder if some alcohol would help too. Uh, okay, by type. As it by flavour, sorry, bitter. Sunshine Cloud. Bitter, girly and soft. That doesn't sound like him. Morgana triggers you. How? Gut Punch. Bitter, manly and strong. I reckon he might like that. Pile Driver. If it's burning, that's going to wake him up. What was the gut punch again? Yeah, you know what? Gut, uh, pile driver might be better. Suplex, though. A small twist on the pile driver, putting more emphasis on the tongue burning and less of the throat burning. Grizzly Temple. This one's kind of unbearable. It's mostly for fans of the movie it was used in. Yeah, I reckon a... I reckon a suplex might work. What's this game about anyway? Um, Spidey, we are a bartender and we are listening to people's stories and serving them drinks. But we're trying to work out what drinks to get everyone. Alright, let's try this. Do you think he'd want a, a big one though? I'll go with that. See if he likes it. Here. Yeah, this works just fine. You know, I feel like I should compensate the poor bastard that took the heat today. Oh? Yeah, that kid Joel. Gene? Guillermo? Hiro Hirohito? I can't remember his name. That kid is always gushing about that idol I interviewed. I can't remember anyone for shit, but he's annoying enough to make me remember him. So I don't know, I feel like I cock blocked him big time by taking his gig away. Worst of all, I left him to fend off a pack of crazy bitches. And that's something I wouldn't wish on anyone, not even my worst enemies. Well, maybe two of them. You're sounding so considerate right now. I'm no saint kid, but I'm a man. And a man must never cock block another man unless he's trying to fuck your mum. What if it's your dad? Did I stutter? Maybe you can get him tickets or something. Nah, see, that'd mean he'd be off work, and I need him to be at my beck and call tonight. I've seen that brat talk to no end about her, so... I know, I'll let him write about her somewhere else, somewhere else in the newspaper. Give him the food critics column, it's shit anyways. Heh. <laughs> I'm so fucking nice. I'm out, kid. Thank you. Please come again. That'd be something interesting to see, I guess. Uh, Ian, we're not getting political in this uh, in this stream. No, no politics. <laughs> don't don't want to be triggering anyone. I'll just bring the sound down a little bit here. There you go. 
Yeah, that was, um, tiring. Hey, Jill, I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. The helmet's stuck. Yep, can't take the helmet off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyrie type white knight helmet is not precisely a common query, you know. I could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's property. But what? Did you run out of air? I just realised you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> Shit, D don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you going to do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see, where was her number? Oh, here it is. More viewings, I'm out. Uh, nice to see you, Ian. <laughs> Go and enjoy the pub. Have a nice snack. I like politics. Uh, Spidey, I don't know if you do like politics. I feel like you're having me on. And you got popcorn from where? I can't even read that word. Hey, Iris, I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend. More importantly, will Chief be fine? She will. Even if there's no God or Buddha, you can always trust Boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. Hey, honey, can you see me? Ah, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon and... Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello. Oh, hello, Dorothy. Wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a Vic Jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Um, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other person is invisible. Come again? There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. How does that work? I suppose there's a fetish for everything, isn't there? It sounds like a Christ Democratic Party. What? You got popcorn from a Democratic Party. There is a fetish for everything, yeah. Even if there wasn't after, like, before this game came out, as soon as this case, this sentence was uttered, there's now a fetish for it. Where you can only see a few articles of clothing floating around about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that would make me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jammer or something? Hmm, you have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camo, nano camo module. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any colour or texture you want. You can order a module from them and change the colours of clothes, walls or tables with it. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked though. Almost? To the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'd be an eerie, uh, eerie surroundings coloured blob. And we Lilim see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was I about? Uh, what was that about talking to yourself again? Nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. Dorothy wants a piano woman. Simple enough. All right, let's uh, write Dorothy down here. I 
thing I can't spell. When it's election time, the parties give away all kinds of stuff. Really? I, didn't, I haven't heard this before. I think the weirdest I got was sunglasses with the party logo on it. It's just scratched off because even though it's a party I vote for, I don't want to run around with their logo on my face. No, that's, that's fine. Merch for political parties is fine. Got like a billion pens now. <laughs> you should do something with the pens, um, Spidey. You should make like a really shit like Wolverine costume with them or something. God, I tell you what, all this, um, all this talking, like between Persona Five and this stream, is uh, it's really getting to my jaw a little bit. <laughs> I think I need to like stretch my jaw at the beginning of every um, every stream. By the way, if you're new to the stream, um, I'm not that small. This is just a massive drink. <laughs> Right, a piano woman. Uh, yeah, we've, we've already read that discussion. That's quite a strong... That's a big drink, isn't it? Oh, no. No, no, no. Fuck's sake. Let's try and do it too quickly. All aged and mixed. I think that's it, isn't it? Five, five, two, three, three. Yeah. There you go. Probably shouldn't play a game that requires talking, so you only have to answer chat. Um, even then, I, I need to kind of like. I can't have too much dead air, can I? God. Ah. <laughs> The environment parties also give out uh, ecological ice cream. I'd vote for them. <laughs> Fucking love ice cream. Right. One piano woman. Thanks. I love these ones, you know. I keep them for special occasions, whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good. That's nice. Okay then, how's this for a bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday. Can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I'd have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. We, we didn't see it this, this party with the dogs, by the way. I don't think this ticket should be valid. Then again, they were improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know... Hmm? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty though. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. What, the north? Yeah, okay, I was about to say, do you pay him to finish that sentence and I'll make sure you truly become invisible? <laughs> Fine. Consider this a standing offer though. Oh, hey John. Ah, Dorothy. Didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey. What did he do? Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a, fab, uh, a nebulous mess that tries to bite him one, every once in a while. A uh, nebulous mass, sorry. Nebulous? You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And, you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said, I'm not the one to duck. Uh, I'm not the one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary, and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. Did I tell any lies? No, but... Never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it. She put it on, now she's stuck. Oh, 
Yeah, randomly putting stuff on you find is problematic. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... Ahem. A bit early for those stories, don't you think? <laughs> nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but you usually come before you start. Ah, uh, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird. The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. That was, um, was it Dougal or whatever his name was? By the way, I now have Three Votes Pro Jacket. A what? What is that? I was wrong. I'm on five beers. Started my sixth. So you stop playing as soon as you can save. Uh, it's a save point at random. It, um, Memphis, it's, um, it seems to be every half shift and then end of shift that you get to save. So I'll probably do... Well, it's five o'clock now. So I'll probably do another... We'll finish off this day and I might be able to do another half, maybe. I don't know how the game works. Fetish for everything, yeah, indeed. Really? Yeah, I go to his house at 11am, dress as requested and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered and I leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that will happen. Three years? Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second, does he have a daughter or not? Sounds like we've got a tragic story here. Like, daughter died or something? Are oh, you one hour ahead, Memphi. Gonna heat up the stuff I cooked drunk in ten minutes to eat. I'll probably miss you stopping the stream. Uh, have I got a Discord? Memphi, thank you for mentioning Discord. Because now I can uh, talk about the Discord. <laughs> or or uh, Hermione can. There you go, yeah, you should join the Discord. It's totally free to join. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I, I've, I've, I'm on Discord fairly often, dude. It'd be nice to have you on there. Anyone else who wants to join, obviously, as well, please, please do. More than welcome to join. Um, it's going to be weird playing a very short game this time. But yeah, I'm... Um... Oh, yeah, of course, it's 6 o'clock for you now, isn't it? Look out, you're going to get sniped by a rat ninja in 20 minutes. Is that another meme, Spidey? I don't know. I was waiting for an opportunity to post it, to be honest. Hermione... You have my permission, if you're here, to post it whenever you deem uh, deem it fit. Because it always feels a bit awkward when I do it myself. But if you're just saying like, oh, you know, join our Discord community, that, that's I think that's probably a better way of doing it, maybe. Only if you want to, though. I don't want to, like, you know, I don't want to have to, uh, I don't want to have to do it all the time or anything. Give me five minutes. I'm mentally challenged uh, getting on Discord. That's fine, dude. Don't worry. I was waiting for that to stop. That's fine. Any, anyway, it's fine. Spider, you can do it as well. Just don't spam it all the time. I know what you're like with those fish heads. Don't post it five times a minute. No. Or I'm, I'll have to make it so only me and Hermione can do it. <laughs> don't make me cool you down, Spidey. <laughs> Uh, wait a second, does he have a daughter or not? Had. Seems she died four years ago. There you go. Oh. Yep. I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. That kind of people? That kind of person? What kind of people? Oh, I forget how good this music is. Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? Sure. All right, let's write down moon blast for her. Just in case. My name is Meh. Uh, Memphi, if you could change your name to Memphi in Discord, that would be super helpful, dude. So I can kind of like 
uh, remember who people are between the stream and, and Discord. Right, Moonblast. One Moonblast coming up. I wonder if this gets more complicated later on. Here. There's something interesting. Uh, there's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single and I don't mind that you're a girl. Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC-72s look like kids? Yes and no. Out of factory we look like kids because our development needs uh, to be as close to human as possible. Then you look like babies outside the factory. Nope, every fresh DF-72, sorry, DFC-72 looks about 10 to 13. It makes it easier to upgrade later. Oh, that's it. I've got to go now. Enjoy the change. Bye. Rocky, thanks for stopping by, dude. I uh, hope you have a good weekend, by the way. Uh, I haven't decided yet, but I might do a weekend stream at some point. But if not, uh, I'll see you next. Hopefully, six. Uh, hopefully, see you next Monday. I'm getting. I'm tripping over my words now. Cheers, Memphi. <laughs> just so I remember, it just has to be for that uh, that Discord, obviously. I think um, it seems like Dorothy is kind of, you know, into everyone, I think. Uh, upgrade? Once a DFC-72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Said upgrade alters its body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. We go through it though? Uh, sorry, will you go through it? I don't know. Right now I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. I really need that advantage, you know. How so? When people hire me, half the time it's not because I'm me. The amount of role playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So if I stop looking underage, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? I mean, maybe I'll go through with it if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Good evening, Gil. Jill and Gillian. Welcome to... Does that happen a lot? Not really. It would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Call me Jules and I'll make sure every time you sit you'll hear the cling of your shaker. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. <laughs> Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day, and today I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Yay! Honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Okay then, let me get your orders. One big sunshine cloud and one gut punch. Press next after... Wait, press next after the first mix to make the second drink. Make sure... Uh, make both before serving. Okay. So they're teaching us something new here. Uh, dude, I've passed the point of following what you're saying. I've got a, a, I've got brain lag. Oh, Jesus. That's what happens, Memphi, if you've drunk, like, six beers, I guess. Are we, talk my, are we talking six pints here, Memphi, by the way? Because after five, I'm basically asleep. <laughs> Probably uh, take care not to drink too much anymore today. Yeah, that's true. You don't, not, not going anywhere, are they? So you don't need to get, like, annihilated. Right, okay, so that was, uh, was it Jamie, wasn't it? 
So Jamie uh, likes a gut punch. I'm just going to add um, a sunshine cloud for uh, Dorothy. Spidey, six, five or six pints of cider is enough to do anyone over, I think. This is very like, I don't know, get very bloated on cider. That's the only problem with it, I find. Right, uh, so I guess we go, do we just go to slot one and slot two? Is that how we do it? All right, let's make the sunshine cloud first. So two Adel hides, two Bronson extract, on the rocks and blended. Tastes like old chocolate milk with its good smell intact. Some say it tastes like caramel too. Should we put some carmatrine in? Let's put a little bit in and uh, blended. There you go. And then slot two. Uh, so that is gut punch. Right, so that's aged and mixed. Now put one uh, karma tree in there. There you go. Here you go. Is this your, I don't know what I'm doing to have this order? I heard restaurants do that from time to time. You don't seem too upset about it. So I really like this one. Hey Dorothy, may I ask you something? Uh, private. If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updated fees. Fees, sorry. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No thank you, it's not about that. Then go ahead, I don't think you can ask me anything I've never been asked before. Is it true that the D DFC 72 line leaves tracking nano machines in the other person after, well, after they violate every hole in your body regardless of its original purpose? Uh, yes. That's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nano machines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like, that way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy though. I've heard stories of D DFC-72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night and BAM! Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I've modded myself so much that if any tracking nano machines were still being released, I'd have to commend their tenacity, to be honest. There's also this urban myth that those nano machines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Uh, now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine, see if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. Thank you, please come again. That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does that it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna go and take my... Gil? I need your girly hands for a second here. Coming! Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no problem. I apologise if I'm taking time from your break. Nah, don't worry. Sorry you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. A Mars Blast. Mars. Better not give him any other kind of blast drink by accident. Right, so he likes a Mars Blast as well. I'm not sure if I even need to uh, write these down, but I feel like it's probably useful, isn't it? He used to drink up to eight pints of an evening, but if I was to do that now, I'd probably die. <laughs> Gee, yeah, dude, eight pints I've, I don't think I've ever got to, at least not in an evening. 
maybe over like you know during a day drinking session maybe but yeah, otherwise that's unlikely to happen anytime soon I think you found me on the phone Memphi <laughs> right Mars Blast uh, I kind of get the feeling that um uh, old Jamie might like um, might like Gil in a different way, perhaps. Message me on Discord. That's cool, man. Yeah, yeah. Just chuck me some messages. That's all good. Got to cook and eat. Yeah, tell me about it, dude. I should probably get something to eat before I get uh, go to the pub. Otherwise, I'll uh, I'll probably get drunk super quickly. Face emo. Eternal. What is that from? <laughs> enjoy the yeah. Enjoy the food, Memphi. Have a good one, dude. How's it going, Eternal, by the way? Right. Six six Bronson extract. Oh, God. I'm getting hiccups again. Uh, four of those. Is it six? One. Four. Two. And then all blended. Here. Bitter and mind numbing, just like war. Have you been to war? Life's a war we fight every day, Jill. So you haven't been to a war? Not to an official one, at least. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. But I guess your line of work doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. Uh, what I've often wondered about is how you could be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went hay haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind it if you just said. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumour, though. Damn, I still don't know then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumours herself. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should. It's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off and you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break. All right. Sweet. Ah. Just, ah, oh, relaxing. <laughs> Uh, been trying to get my character to 120. I'm slow at leveling and then back to gearing and visual novel. Oh, come on, Eternal. We've had all sorts of random stuff in here. There's been a bit of bestiality for people. There's been, you know, fucking every hole, every orifice in someone. It's not as uh, not as kid friendly as it seems. <laughs> I was thinking it, you know, what would be probably better is if I had someone here to do like a second voice. I feel like that would probably be good, wouldn't it? Plus, yeah, come on, the music's super good. By the way, Eternal, I've got um, I've got um, Battle for Azeroth now, but I don't know when I'm going to play it. Probably get around to playing it in a couple of months' time. Uh, Boss should clean the chicken buckets she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. I'll stick with the same music for now. You can take a couple of minutes more, you know. I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now, take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. R right. Yes, it's open. Great. Welcome to Valhalla. Good evening. Um... 
What kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of afterlife? Well, it is called Valhalla, yeah, but... Play it. It's a good expansion except for the stat squish, but it feels like a good expansion. Yeah, the stat... I was watching, um... I was watching Pandru play it the other day, and I was like, why, why is there, like, why are you doing fuck all damage now? <laughs> it's a little bit odd, but, um... I suppose the, the damage was getting a bit ridiculous, wasn't it? It was getting into, like, the millions, wasn't it? Uh, do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sort of. Kind of. Yeah? Well, this is a bar. A bar? Nice, nice. What can I get you? I don't know. Uh, I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? Uh, what do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can work with. What about flavours? Bitter, but not too bitter? Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Let me see what I can get you. Uh, something like tea or something not so bitter. Maybe girly and bitter? Uh, by flavour? Bitter, girly and soft. That's sunshine clouds probably going to be it, isn't it? Not a cut punch. Grizzly temple? No. And that all the other ones are super manly drinks, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think a sunshine cloud is probably the one to go for. Uh, but as it says, it's easier to read, which I think is a crock of shit. We're at level 120. We should be able to see do high damage. I suppose... Um, do you think they might be talking about people that still have the um, the numbers popping up? Because that could get pretty mental, depending on the class, couldn't it? Like, say you were starting to do like hundreds of millions of damage. Cause, I mean, uh, it's not quite the same, but uh, Diablo 3 gets pretty mental, doesn't it? When you start to get um, super, super high level in that game. I wish the uh, light would bleed through the window a bit more. It gives you good lighting for the camera. Right, yeah, let's make this. Two, two adult highs. Two Bronson extract. Uh, on the rocks, blended. We'll give her a bit of... Um... I'll tell you what, we'll do it without the alcohol, I think. It's probably best, isn't it? Try this. Yep, this will do just fine. Thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. Kirami I'm Kiramiki. Do you have to like spell your name like that, though? Kiramiki. So, so, should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? No, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Miki. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira and you say Miki, okay? Okay. Kira! Look, Miki. No, 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 no. Put more spirit into it. Kira! Mamiki! <laughs> Almost there. Kira! Miki! Kira! Miki! <laughs> Kira! Miki! Kira! Miki! Oh my god, how's that? Ah, Jesus Christ. That's it. Are you feeling it? Kira! Miki! Oh my god, Kira! Miki! Kira! Miki, oh my god, I'm bored. And don't you ever forget it. <laughs> what the hell am I doing out here? Um, where were we, Jamie? R right, uh, I was telling you... Wow, you're good. Thank you. It's nice to know I still have it. 
Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait, you're the Lilin that's putting on a concert tonight. I'm one Lilin who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilin you're looking for. And what are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while uh, that's going on, so I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concert posters outside and decided to check this place. Just that? Isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. Uh, I see. How big is the concert? We planned for a bit over 100,000 people and sold out fast. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal, and that's nice. Over 100,000 is not many? Then what exactly is? Hold on, then based on your demonstration from before, I should call you Ms. Miki, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top. Oh, God. I'll just call you Ms. Idol then. Oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft? As in alcohol free? No, I meant soft as in soft. Soft? Uh, let's see what I can get you. Something soft. Wonder if she means alcohol free or something else. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, getting a, I get a really real crick in the neck today for some reason. I'm not sure what's causing it. Um, and we uh, can call them the forum complainers. There are only complain on forums to complain and Blizzard listens to them. What's that? What, people that wanted the stat squish? So I can't imagine a lot of people actually wanted a stat squish, did they? Uh, I suppose girly drinks, but classic ones. Sour. Yeah, it's gonna be girly drinks, I suppose, isn't it? Uh, fluffy dream. Sour, girly, and soft. That that seems like it, doesn't it? Uh, a couple of these will make your tongue feel velvety. More of them and you'll be sleeping soundly. Sounds like what I'll be drinking tonight. Uh, she didn't she said that she didn't want alcohol free, so just put a little bit of alcohol in it. Try this. Yeah, this will do it. Thanks. Hey, have you considered being more theatrical when mixing drinks? Hey? Yeah, you know, like spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried going to a party once. A bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of make, uh, actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know. I'll keep it in my mind. Uh, I'll keep it in mind. Hmm. Hey, is this glass important? It depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, sure, I guess. No guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay then. Who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss. I wonder if Gil would like it though. Your name, girl. Oh, uh, for Jill then. For Jill. Never lose your star from Kiramiki. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their fair share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. 
Uh, I see. They're also very organised. They'd make pretty good stalk uh, pretty good soldiers. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. I remember one was uh, one once protected me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. <laughs> what the fuck? And she fails to see the problem? I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way they find it. I take pride in how neatly I organise my underwear, you know. I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same. No, wait. It isn't. Yeah, you get me, Jill. Okay, one more drink before I go. Uh, by now the stage should be all organised, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. I'd be depressed if they asked for Your Love is a Drug as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets were worth the ridiculous price, you know. Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was coffee, or, uh, if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Let's see what I can find for you. Do you want something bitter? Maybe to sober up a bit? Uh, what, sunshine clouds, maybe? Considering, considering she was just talking about uh, sunshine. Uh, let's not put any alcohol in it though. Try this. Yeah, this works. So how is it? It could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was for waking you up or something, so... Really nice, thanks. I hope you aren't offended by this question, but... Hmm? I can see that you enjoy what you do, but how much of it is about the music? I'll let you know that before becoming Kiramiki. I was a very accomplished pianist. I had concerts every week and part-times in bars with a jazz band. I still write and compose my own songs. Whoa. Why the change? Going from jazz and piano to idol. Uh, have you ever thought about the power music has over people? You could argue it's just noise, but it can make you feel a, a wide range of emotions. And that power is universal. It can transcend language and culture. Being in a jazz band or performing recitals, I can only take the power to so many people. But being an idol, I can take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids and adults, men and women, they all have access to my music and I can reach every one of them. Wow. What music do you like, Jill? I'm not picky, but I do prefer versions with no lyrics. Man, Jill, Jill is like... Jill is basically me. Why? I like to listen to music while working and lyrics distract me. And besides, it always bothers me when people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. I think only half of the listeners actually care about what's being said. Oh, that's a bummer. I'd give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any at the moment. Don't worry about it. Okay then, I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, Jill. Sure. Uh, please come again. I'll make sure of it. Will she be alright? Yeah, she'll be fine. You think she'll come back? Usually I'd say no, but I honestly don't know. Boss, we're done. Alright. You feel like going to that girls' concert? Nah, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? 
Why, that was my moniker during my wrestling days. She was actually a wrestler, okay. You're... Huh? That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. Any reason for being red, specifically? That way I was three times faster. How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Gil's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and boss? Don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, we made a few mistakes that time. Okay. No flawless service bonus. Still got uh, $1,704 though. Grab a snack on the way home, it's on me. Nice. Who Who's gonna die, Spidey? Who, who's gonna die? Uh, right, Jill is humming your love is a drug. Buying the song will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now browse Kiramiki's blog. Right, so love is a drug. Let's see if we can buy that. Now yeah, there you go. Uh, your love is a... Oh. Idol Hell, a magazine with all things idols. has a download code for your love is a drug. Oh, there you go, cool. Buy that. I think all the rest is the same stuff. Yeah. Right. Uh, Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. I wonder what happens if you don't buy it. Like, do you, like, mishear things, maybe? Um, did that idol really show up? Or is she like the ghost? Hey. What? Ha! <laughs> they got a uh, picture of, um... The boss up there. Who's evil? Right, let's see what we can read on here. I think I might have to um, stop it after this because otherwise I'm going to get to a point where I'm not going to be able to stop in time. We'll read these though. Uh, Miki Concert 3 uh, in the last thread. Anon hates fun. Uh, I don't want fights. You people are so immature. What's wrong with a guy being uh, a guy in danger you? Why do you care if we assume you're a girl anyway? Fuck off. <laughs> Let's go back to the concert, please. 27, uh, 2070X and you stupid idiots still care about petty shit like this. Uh, he started everything by mentioning he... Sorry, he started mentioning everything by mentioning he is a guy. <sighs> Anyway, we should gather somewhere to take the train to the stadium together. Not a bad idea. We can make an official Danger You meet-up. Like I'd want to be seen with a bunch of ugly girls in front of my friends. Okay, next thread I'm going to moderate the fuck out of this. No more shit posting. Seems, um, seems a lot like, um... Like actual Reddit sometimes. <laughs> uh, no shit posting allowed. Did that one Anon left? Uh, did that one Anon left? Good English there, guys. Uh, I think so. I never left. I was just lurking to not cause any trouble. Don't worry, we're here for you. Any ideas for the Great Revelation? Do you know if you like her yet? Look, I just don't want to ruin our friendship. Uh, we we know each other since we were very young. See, so she's your childhood friend. It's like one of my Japanese animes. <laughs> I wonder what that's a reference to. That's um, it, actually that's that's not Metal Gear. That is um, Metal Gear Awesome, isn't it? Is that a Metal Gear Awesome reference? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is what you uh, what you have to do when Miki ends singing "Love Is in Paradise." You kiss her. K -k kiss? Of course, just try and uh, try to imagine how magical that moment would be with the fireworks and the epic guitar solo. I... I'll think about it. I'm just watching the different P5 Valentine's Day options. I forgot to do that, Hermione. I'll have to... Um, I was going to potentially watch them on stream, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of them, isn't there? 
Uh, Alice Rabbit Thread 2, Electric Boogaloo. Stop forcing Alice. So we hate Alice now? Good. It's just that we haven't heard any news yet. Remember that time they posted here to announce an attack? Lol, yeah, and I remember the cybercrime unit up the admin's ass. December 17, welcome the second retribution. Birthday is coming. Oh boy, it's happening. <laughs> time for despair. Oh shit, fuck. Uh, that face I just got, that face when I just got out of jail. I'm not going back. Do you know what happens to people with IPs on the wrong thread? Hi, cybercrime unit. I just want to let you know I'm not Alice, but in fact your mum. Why are you girls so nervous? The only one getting fucked is the admin. Fuck off, Alice. Not this shit again. <laughs> Such language. The video I found is half an hour long, but that's just the Valentine's Day stuff. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I think I, I, pro I was going to stream it. I, I don't think I will, because I think it'll be pretty... Um... I don't think it'd be that interesting. The only thing I might do is I might um, I might stream the harem ending just to see what that's like. Uh, Neo San Francisco rocked by an earthquake, millions saved. Powerful 8.6 magnitude tremor has struck the area of Neo San Francisco. Fortunately, modern science was able to identify the quake almost an hour in advance, providing the city plenty of time to prepare for the worst. During a conference call, Glitch City Prime Minister Quincy congratulated the rescue teams at Neo San Francisco for its rapid response in the wake of the warning. They're an example to follow and we're certainly looking forward to, em uh, to implement these advancements in the earthquake prediction here in our beautiful city. Glitch City is not currently known to be a seismic zone. I wonder where um, Glitch City is meant to be then. Uh, Kirimiki confirmed as the best pop star in history. Uh, don't let anyone tell you otherwise, she's the best. Like, she had to be the handcrafted to be this perfect. Holy moly. She's the top tier everything, and I'm baffled as to how there are still people out there hoping to be as awesome and hot and great. They can't. It's impossible for a human to top such an achievement. I, for one, welcome our new Roboco overlord. <laughs> Alright, calm down. Spidey, you're so, you're, you always, like, throw me, like, uh... <laughs> You're always so mean sometimes. I, I slept through an earthquake in New Zealand. That that shows how deep my sleep is, or how weak the earthquake was, I guess. Uh, interview. Glow Ria Light and her quest for a Tino Award. Uh, in today's interview segment, we sit with Tino Award nominee Gloria Light. It's an honour to be here with you. It, it's my pleasure. Uh, oh great! Tell us everything. What was your content blocked in your region? Yeah, thanks, thanks Twitch for that um, JoJo stream that was only available to North America. No, I, I know it's it's a licensing thing, but everyone was getting like their panties in a twist about that. I know you're joking, Spidey. Don't worry. I'm only I'm only winding you up. Uh, right. Let's see what this is about. Kirimiki blog. What I do to relax. Uh, it's been very hacked to hectic as of late, so I'd like to share with you what I do to relax. Sitting on rooftops. I'm on the road most of the time, so I don't have a specific rooftop to relax on. I like to feel the breeze and see a beautiful vista. It makes me think about life. Tea cocktails. Oh, this is something I can't live without. Mixing tea with vodka, rum, gin, lime, you name any tasty and natural combination, I'll be all over it. I'm very careful about getting tipsy before a show though. I wouldn't like to ruin your evening. Dome concert. Hi everyone, are you ready for the dome concert? I sure am. I perform in a rather large number of concerts every year and even then I can't help but be excited every time I have one around the corner. And it's all thanks to you. Thanks to your energy and love surrounding my life in every aspect. I'm gonna perform all your favorite songs so please be excited. Uh, just one, just one a little request. Again, English. Please don't wait for me outside the stadium or my bodyguards will get angry at you. I wouldn't like to see you hurt, so please don't do it. Thanks, GC. Oh, I love this place. So much energy, so much love. I could feel the optimism in the air. Even after all the struggles, you still came to see me and I got to experience the loudest and craziest crowd in my whole career. I'm beyond speechless. That said, I'm excited to announce that we'll have a second date in the city. 
It wasn't easy to set up, but I'm so happy my agency approved it. This was by far our biggest show, and I can't wait to experience it again. See you soon, my darlings. Love, Miki. There we go. Let's get a, let's get a save in. Again, we'll do all of the saves. Billions of saves. Uh, right. I think that's it. Let me just, uh, let's go full screen. I'm just going to exit quickly. Oh shit, hang on. Good touch screen, eh? My darlings! <laughs> There we go. Right, let's go full screen. You did fuck up a little bit, dude, yeah. Unless that's like two people with other hands coming in from different directions. <laughs> Maybe, that'd, that'd work. That'd probably work. Um, but yeah, no, guys, sorry for the, um, sorry for the shorter than usual stream. It's that usual Friday thing. I think it's happened like the last two or three Fridays, isn't it? Where I've uh, been going out and doing stuff. But like I said, I need to uh, I need to see some... Uh, as much as I love talking to you guys, I need to see some um, some real people as well. Well, that's that's probably the wrong way, wrong way to put it, isn't it? I need to see some people in real life that I can actually physically look at and talk to. Seeing who's on. Oh, oh my dear is on. I feel like we should uh, raid raid him because we haven't raided him yet. I think that's only fair. He's playing Persona. Oh, it's a rerun. Okay, no, I'm not going to raid and rerun. Didn't notice that. SOS Diablo. Actually, is anyone else playing Valhalla? I bet. I bet no one is playing Valhalla. Um, Oh yeah, it's that, isn't it? There you go. Ah, there's there's two people. There's us and there's um, a that looks like a Russian streamer. So I can't understand what the, what's being said. Yeah, it's a Sonic shirt, Spidey. It is. You know me and Sonic, dude. <laughs> uh, oh, what's this? Sorry. I missed some of that stuff there. I'm ending. I'll stop uh, the video for a bit. Yeah, sorry, Hermione. I need to um, I need to start getting ready. It's just it doesn't seem like you can pause at any time with this game, so I needed to uh, find a place I could leave it off. Watch the Persona cutscenes on the other one. Do with the Gummy Bear songs on again. Oh yeah, what was his name again? I think I've got him. Wasn't that Ryu 101? Oh god, hiccups. Or was it SOS Diablo? Might be SOS Diablo, isn't it? See you later, Spidey. Uh, have a good weekend, dude, by the way. I don't know if I can stand that song again. <laughs> SOS Diablo. Should we go and say hello to Diablo? I think we should go and say hello to Diablo, shouldn't we? It's been a while since we've uh, raided him. And he's, uh, it looks like he's... He's not got very many viewers, so be... I know we don't have a lot of viewers either, but we can send some people over. Uh, this might be a little bit redundant, but um, guys, if you haven't joined already, uh, there is the Discord channel. Please join it. It's free to join. Uh, it'd be lovely to have you uh, on board. Uh, I stream most uh, weekdays. I'm looking at maybe doing more weekend ones as it starts to get colder, or if I just have a free day in general. But um, yeah, today is going to be the last day of the week for me at the moment. But it will always say on um, Discord if I'm going to go live. Usually about 10 minutes before I start, like 5 to 10 minutes before I start. Usually. You'll get an alert. But otherwise, yeah, it's always 2 o'clock in the afternoon, UK time. I'll be, I'll be here, I'm ready to go. Uh, let me type in his name here. SOS. SOS. Diablo. It's actually quite good uh, stopping here because it means I could probably actually make a, an actual dinner 
and um, that way I don't have to buy any dinner at, um, at the pub. But yes, uh, I'm going to keep it relatively short tonight, guys. Or well, that's I'll, I'll try anyway. Yeah, I know it's quite early for dinner, isn't it? Especially after I had mine at like fucking ten o'clock last night. Thanks, uh, thanks, Persona. No, it was worth it. It was worth it. I loved it so much. Why is uh, why is Steam popping up? Oh, it wants to restart. Okay, fine. I make some myself. I I can make some myself as well. It's just it happened to be last night. It was made by you know parents. I'm not going to turn down a free meal, <laughs> especially when it tastes so nice. Right, guys, it was a pleasure. Sorry it was a short one. Um, I hope you enjoy the... Um, I, know, I understand it's a very different type of game, but all the same, I hope you, uh, I hope you still enjoyed it. Got dinner from your brother yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, you know, free, free food's free food, isn't it? Well, not free food, but, you know, someone else is making it. Especially considering they can cook better than me. Who declines schnitzel? Isn't that, uh, that's sausage, right? Mighty. What is schnitzel exactly? Isn't it some kind of sausage type German thing? I don't know. <laughs> uh, GCB, I will try to enjoy myself, dude. I'm sure I will. We'll get, uh, get nice and merry. Not too drunk, just merry. Famous last words, isn't it? Always famous last words. Um, oh, here you go, look, here's a, sh here's a schnitzel. What the fuck? That's not at all what I thought it would be. Okay. It looks like a... Um, it looks like the sort of stuff you'd have, like, it's the fish of the fish and chips. But it's just normal meat, is it? Okay. Or like, is it like sausage meat kind of thing? Interesting. And you know what? That's making me hungry. So... <laughs> right. Um, yeah, guys, I might, like I said, I might do a, uh, I might do a weekend stream. I wouldn't count on it because I'll probably, um, you know, I've got some stuff to work on over the weekend, and uh, I don't think I'm in tomorrow. I think I might be seeing my sisters. And we might be doing something. Uh, beef or pork with breadcrumbs around it. Quality meat. Okay, sounds quite nice though. Mm. Hungry. Give me, give me some food. Uh, yeah, but I, I, I probably I'm gonna say no for now. But if I do, I will let you know on um, I'll let you know on Discord slash Twitter. So that's usually where I'm putting it. Uh, but yeah, we'll go for the usual stuff, I suppose. Um, the uh, if you want to follow any of my um, social media shit, it's all in the info underneath the stream. Um, by all means, please follow it. If you think I've done a good stream or you like what I've done, please drop me a follow. Don't smash the follow button. Just press it. You just need to press it. You don't need to fucking smash it. Yeah. <laughs> Hermione, you might be happy now. I think I've settled on a uh, on a way of leaving. I think. I think. So yeah, guys. Hope you have a good weekend. Uh, I will hopefully see you next Monday. And um, yeah, peace out, you beautiful motherfuckers.